Hi guys, welcome to a special, a very special edition of Revelo, where I'll be interviewing the president of Eternal Glorious Fountain Ministry in the person of Reverend Kayode Oyeguke. We will be asking him questions that have never been asked before. I know that I will be blessed and I'm sure you will too. Stay tuned. Good day, sir. Good day, neighbor. Oh, it's so good to be here. I'm glad to have you in my home. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. We, we know you're very busy and mm. we really appreciate you, mm. you know, doing this for us. That's thank you nice. so thank much. Thank you. Um, so, yes, uh, we're here to ask you questions. Yes. Lots of questions. Yes, I'm ready. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's mm. get to it. Um, okay. We've heard or we know of Believers Convention. Yes. But we don't know mm. how you got the vision. Mm -hmm. And so we would like to know, okay. you know, how that vision came about from the Lord. Okay. Yes. Um, I want to be as uh, truthful and mm. sincere uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, Belie Believers Convention has been in the spirit a long time ago. To God be the glory, I was uh, instrumental to teaching a particular man who was living in Cardinal, but family lives in Lagos. So I taught him for some time. I ran through the scriptures. Right. The grace of God was present, and he was immensely blessed. Mm. I won't tell you, I will tell you the truth, that God uh, won't tell you all the time how his plans will run. He wants you to God gives room for faith. So I went back to um, to Kaduna after a series of meetings because the pastor told me to handle some of his services. He was so blessed. Eh? We need this ministry in Lagos. So we had a believers convention wow. in Elijah. Hmm. I get it me. Small church, very small church. My next question is, yeah. uh, what is the burden? of the Lord in this season concerning Believers Convention. This year's Believers Convention, what is the burden? We've been praying and we should not stop praying. And I want individual to pray. Mm. Not, not just only when we're collectively play, praying, I want you to pray. And pray for hunger. Mm. Pray for hunger. Mm. not to miss out in the Lord's visitation in this convention mm. this year. Mm. And I want to tell you something, yes, both sir. saying that to everyone. Anyone who is sincere in his heart and come with the right preparation of heart will never miss out in blessing and believers' mm. convention. Every person that said, Lord, I want a spiritual encounter. I want you. I want you in this convention, you will get God in this convention. Amen. If the Lord, I want uh, I, I, I want to move forward mm. in my conversation with you. I say, you will get that. Amen. It's a whole package mm. that is coming. And the Lord will do much more than you can ever ask mm. or think when you come mm. for this program. Amen. The Lord puts it in my heart for me to say this, but thank you I want to say to the media crew again that they also saw the need. I knew it's the orchestration of the Lord at the same time. So we can, I can be able to talk to the audience the need for the preparation and why they should not joke with attending the Believers Convention. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you very much for having us again. Thank you. Thank you, baby. And so we've come to the end of this very special interview. Um, I'm sure you heard what Reverend Kaori Oguke said. Please pray. That's right. Please pray. Mm. The Lord is coming. Pray. Pray that you might meet with him. He says it is unique. I believe this convention is unique. The Lord is coming. And he's coming for those who will be ready for him. Please pray. 
please engage the spirit in the remainder of the days before Believers Convention and you will not be disappointed. Thank you.
mercy that the Lord is going to show upon us again this evening for the evening session of the three of Believers Convention 2023. There is an another allocation of bread which the Lord has made ready for us this evening. There is another great rain that is going to pour upon us as God's people here this evening. I don't want us to have a, um, a nonchalant attitude towards prayer. We are not praying. We are not praying. Can you open your mouth consciously and talk to Jesus? Don't get yourself distracted. Talk to Jesus. Can you give thanks to Jesus for mercy that the Lord has shown us the first day of Believers Convention 2023? From on Sunday up, Jesus started with us for great help that the Lord brought our way through his servant, through his ministers, through the ministration of the world, through the ministration of songs. Can we thank Jesus for day two of Believers Convention, which was Monday, yesterday, for the ministers' conference in the morning and the evening session. For great help the Lord brought our way yesterday for deliverances that are called even in our midst for the move of the Spirit. Can we thank Jesus? We are not thanking Jesus. Opening prayer is not a um, it's not an event that is not part of the meeting. I want us to consciously pray. If we are here at this time, it's because the Lord is putting the burden of praying for this evening's meeting upon us. I like us to do that consciously. I like us to do that consciously. Don't get yourself distracted. Angels are already here. Angels are already here to take up our petitions to heaven. Can we lift up our voices before Jesus this evening? Can we say, Jesus, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for another help that you are bringing our way this evening again. Thank you for yesterday's move of the Spirit. Thank you for so much deliverance. Thank you for so much deliverance. Thank you for help. Thank you for help that you brought our way. We give glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you for this morning session. Thank you for this morning session. Thank you for the help that was supplied through your handmaiden, our dear mom, Mommy Helen Oyegoke. Thank you for help that you brought again through your servant, our daddy, Reverend Kyle Oyegoke. Can we thank Jesus? Can we consciously thank Jesus? We are not thanking Jesus. Don't get yourself distracted. Gather your mind in the place of prayer. Embra kafare do le barada la te liga do vrede barada la te si avrada bayata liga doste. Enra kate te 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 vrede do la te si. Father, we give glory to your name. We thank you. Thank you for the supply of the Spirit of Christ. Thank you for great help. Thank you for help, Lord Jesus. Sofereta barkate muradeli avrada la te liga doste vrede barada la te. Those of us in the hall now, heaven is counting on us to pray. Heaven is counting on us to pray. Jesus is counting on you to pray. Lift up your voices. Open your mouth and talk to Jesus. Safarina Mante. We give thanks to your name, Abba Father. We give thanks to your name, Abba Father. Jesus, we honor you. Thank you for supply. Thank you for supply of your spirit. Thank you for help. Thank you for help from an eye. Thank you for ministering spirit. Thank you for ministering spirit. Thank you for ministering spirit. Thank you for ministry spirit. Thabarda lea te severe de la taliga dosha. Janda barada la te sivre de barada la talia garga de la te sisa. And jaja jaja marca ta sivre de barada la teliga rofre de barada la tesia. Ili maram baraka tali gado vrede barada la tesi vrede barada la tani maroka telia injele gade bam barata la gida vrado la tesi vrede barada la te limbre ko far katata li barote li gade kete vrede le te liga da barada shamra katali gado vrede barada la tesi vrede barada la tani ale imbre kete li gado vrede barada la tesi vrede barada la ta thank you for that which you have promised by prophecy that you are going to be bringing our way in this year's believers convention our heart indeed is prepared. This is the three. We have four more days to go. Jesus, we want to touch you. 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 He said they grow from strength to strength as many as appear before the Lord in Zion. 
we have come again to appear before you this evening, Jesus. We want there to be an increase in strength. We want there to be an increase in strength. That the measure would increase. That the measure would increase. The measure would increase. The measure would increase. Paul said, lest I be exalted above measure. Measure can be increased. Jesus, we are praying that this evening again, it will, it will be characterized by an increase in measure. In the name of Jesus, if you feel you don't need the prayer, you can pray for your brother, you can pray for your sister, you can pray for everybody that is here, but I'd like every one of us to pray, 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 talk to Jesus, talk to Jesus concerning yourself, concerning your brother, concerning your sister. Lord, I desire that there will be an increase in measure, there will be an increase in measure, there will be an increase in measure. I don't want to leave this evening's meeting with the same measure wherewith I came, in the name of Jesus, so parada la telega do vrede parada la te ele mambra cataliga do vrede parada la te si vrede parada la tasha janda la gada la telega do vrede parada la te si vrede parada la ta embra cate te 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 talk to Jesus help will be administered to us this evening help will be administered to us this evening in the name of Jesus, Sharma de Cataliga Rubra de la Teliga da Brada Barra de la Tessia, Shinemara Capa Papa Papa Papa, Embra Cataliga Rubra de Barra de la Tessibra de Barra de la Te, Oleman Jajani Maruca Papra de Barra de Liga Dubra de Barra de la Te, and Jaja 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 Jaja, Shimar Catabara de la Teliga Dubra de Barra de la Tessia, Shandulega da Brada Barra de la Tessie, Oleman Jajani Maruca Parga de la Teliga Dubra de Barra de la Te, Messi will visit us. Us. Mercy will visit us. Mercy will visit us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who will be added upon. Who will be added upon. Who will be added upon. Added upon. In the name of Jesus. Angela this evening's meeting there will be so much supply of the spirit of Christ in the name of Jesus God's servant our daddy was saying this morning that we need wings to fly we need wings to fly we need wings to fly it's the supply of the spirit it's the supply of the spirit we are praying Jesus for everyone that will be here in this meeting this evening and everyone that will be streaming online. We are asking Jesus that there will be so much supply of the Spirit. There will be so much supply of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Fuck to Jesus. Fuck to Jesus. Let there be supply. Let there be supply. Let there be supply of the Spirit of Christ in the name of Jesus. Jeremante le garuka paradeli taravani turubani katalia and je 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 maska parada la tesia envre tu parada la teliga do vrede parada la telia garka papa papa embre kataliga do vrede parada la tesia enje le gede vrede parada la tesia he said it is a spirit that quicken it it is a spirit that quicken it the flesh profited nothing it is a spirit that quicken it the flesh profited nothing we are asking Jesus let there be grace supply let there be grace supply upon everyone that will be in this evening's meeting in the name of Jesus upon the ministers even upon the hearers Angelita Barakatele Gadovrede Baradelate upon the song ministers upon everyone that will stand even in the ministry of help let there be grace supply of the spirit of Christ in the name of Jesus that the spirit will quicken every soul the spirit will quicken every soul in the name of Jesus Eli Marata Barada la Telega do Brada Barada la Tessia. Anje, je, 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 Praso Vera Gada la Telia. Pray, 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 pray for supply. Pray for supply. Labor in the place of prayer and ask Jesus, Jesus, the head of the church, that there will be great supply. There will be great supply. Even supply of the Spirit. Even supply of the Spirit. Embrace of Ferreda la Telega do Brada Barada la Tessia. Elembre. 
There will be fullness of the Holy Ghost. There will be fullness of the Holy Ghost. There will be fullness of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Eshanote, Eshanata, Esheni Maroka, Esheni Televelento, Embreketeli Garoga Barada La Tessia, Shane Moreka Baba Barada La Teligaro Brada Barada La Te. There is something that appearing before the, G, the Lord Jesus in Zion. There is something he does to every soul. He said they grow from strength to strength. They grow from strength to strength. They grow from grace to grace. As many as appear before the Lord in Zion, Jesus, we are asking in the name of Jesus that as many will be guarding upon this mountain today, as many will be guarding upon this mountain today, there will be a change. 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 Angel, there will be working of miracles. Miracle that can change a soul. Miracle that can change a soul. Some of us are not engaged in heaven. Some of us are not engaged in heaven. Can we pray? Can we talk to Jesus? I am trusting you this evening for a miracle. I am trusting you this evening for a miracle. That the desolation of many generations that has plagued my soul, that this evening it will go. In the name of Jesus, those age-long habits, those age-long habits that has remained in my soul for many years, there will be a miracle. There will be workings of miracle. There will be workings of miracle. My soul will be set free. My soul will be set free. David said, my soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. He said, my soul, my soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. That this evening's meeting will be characterized with many escapes. In the name of Jesus. Can you talk to Jesus? Pray, 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 pray. And ask concerning your soul. There will be escape. There will be escape. My soul will be made free. My soul will be made free. That issue that Satan has plagued my soul with, that I am a person that cannot understand, even when scripture is being ministered. Jesus, this evening, there will be a working of miracle. There will be a working of miracle. My soul would understand. My soul will comprehend. My soul would understand. My soul will comprehend. There will be great working of miracle. There will be so much help in the spirit. I'm not hearing us pray. I'm not hearing us pray. Can you hold hands? Can you hold hands? Can you hold your neighbor? Can you hold your neighbor? Hold hands together. Let's labor. Let's push in the place of prayer. Let's push in the place of prayer. Hold your neighbor and pray. Pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. There will be so much help. Even this evening's meeting. There will be working of miracles. Angel, get the bread, the bread, the lattice. Ole, je, 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 je. Yala, maraka, bread, the lattice. Get the bread, the bread, the lattice. Yatessia. 
He said the apostles minister with the Holy Ghost send down from heaven. The minister with the Holy Ghost send down from heaven. Jesus, we are asking in the name of Jesus. We are asking for the sending down of your spirit upon every heart in the name of Jesus. That every heart will be properly incubated. Oh, for the seed of the world in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing us Can you bring your mind for wherever your mind is wandering to? Bring your mind to this prayer and labor, 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 labor and pray, 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 pray that Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost would I ban it upon minds, Holy Ghost would I ban it upon hearts in the name of Jesus. That as the seed of the world will be coming, as the seed of the world will be coming, he to find a ground wherewith he can germinate in the name of Jesus. And Shalemate, and Shalemosi, and Shalemerea, and Shalemakote, and Shalemarate, and Shalemereketente, and Reketeli Garoga Barada la Teligaro Frede Barada la Te, Ole Mere Ten 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 Teliatosha, and Jelega de Vrede Barada la Tessia, and Breketete. This evening I would understand. This this evening I will comprehend for Jesus, the head of the church promise. He said, For to you is given to know, for to you is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. For you is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Holy Ghost will come upon minds. Holy Ghost will come upon hearts. In the name of Jesus, we are praying for the supply of the Spirit. We are praying for the supply of the Spirit. We are praying for the supply of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, that this evening's meeting will be characterized with so much entrance. It will be characterized with abundant entrance. Abundant entrance. Abundant entrance. Abundant entrance. Pray, 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 pray. Shemaroka, embrekete ligarosa, frente lega de la teligarosa. Yele mandele te li arovera barada la tesia. Yala gana 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 stesia. Pray, 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 pray. Let Jesus hear you. Let Jesus hear you. Be conscious about what you are praying concerning. Zemarote berana la teliga rovre de balade la tesia. Yele ke te 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 te. Yambra katali abrosha balade la telia desia. Yamande le ke de le teliga rosha branda balate liga roste. In Jesus' name we pray. Still praying Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. I read verse 30 and 31. I want us to pray. Now, inability to understand is not a good state. Inability to understand what is being said. Jesus said it. He said, for to you, it is given to know. So meaning... There is already a provision in God that every one of us under the New Testament, we have ability to know the mysteries of the kingdom. So if I am not understanding, it's not from the end of Jesus. An enemy did it. Romans chapter 30 verse 31. I want us to see what is called without understanding. He said backbiters. He started the thought from 28 as they could not retain God in their mind. So I'll just read verse 30 and 31. He said, Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding. 
without understanding. So when a soul is without understanding, it's an evil state. It's an evil state. It's not a good state that I should be without understanding. Because Jesus, the head of the church, has made all necessary provision available for me to understand. For me to understand. I want us to pray and ask Jesus this evening that help will be supplied for us to understand. That comprehension will come upon every soul. That there will be great supply. You know why I read the scripture to us? I read the scripture so that we will be able to fight in our spirit. I don't want to, you know, at times we can have this attitude of, okay, what they are saying is high revelation, everlasting life. I just thought I would give my life to Christ and that's all. Which one is life? Which one is everlasting life? Which one is whatever? Maybe it's not for me. No, it is for you because Jesus said it. He said for, can we, can we say this together? Let me see our faith. Can we say this together? He said, say for me. Say for me. Shout it very loud. Say for me. It is given. We are not shouting it. It is given. To know. To know. To understand. To comprehend. To know. To participate. To fellowship with. The mysteries. The mysteries. The mysteries. Yes, indeed, it's a mystery. But it is given for me to know the mysteries of the kingdom. God, someone that daddy was teaching this morning, he said there are two kingdoms. The kingdom of Christ and the kingdom of God. You see, the mysteries of those kingdoms, it is given for you to know it. It is given for you to understand it. Can we pray this evening and ask Jesus that this evening there will be so much understanding. Who would have prayed through in the area of understanding? Every soul that will be guarding upon this mountain this evening will go home with chunks of understanding, with large bites of understanding in the name of Jesus, can we begin to pray, 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 pray. Embrekatelia, hey, don't drop in the temple of your prayer. I'd like you to pray. I want to be free from that evil spirit called without understanding. I want to be free. I want to understand the mysteries of Christ. I want to understand the mysteries of the Father. I want to understand the mysteries of God. Because Jesus said it. He said, for me it is given to know for me, it is given to know the mysteries. Shambra Cataliga of Rada Barada La Tessia, Elemere Catalia of Rada Barada La Teligarosha, Chandelete, Chandelete, Chandelete. Some of us are not praying, some of us are not praying. Ambre Catalega de Rada Barada La Te. I want to participate in what is being ministered this evening. I want to fellowship with the thoughts of life. Eliman Jen Jen Jelega de Rada Barada La Tessia, Yeleman Docate. Shambra Cataliga Robra de Barada Late. O Milembe Baba 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 Shambra Catalega de Vrede Barada Latelia. Jele Catalega de Vrede Barada Late. I will not be without understanding. I will not be without understanding. I will not be without understanding. This evening, Jesus. This evening, Jesus. There will be so much supply of the Spirit. Holy Ghost will brood upon minds. Cup that will be upon minds this evening will be cup of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. My mind will be ghosted. My mind will be ghosted. My mind will be ghosted. Even for to understand. In the name of Jesus. The great body in the heart of God's servant, our daddy, Reverend Carl, there you go, okay. is that everyone that will come to this year's Believers Convention will be established, will be established. Jesus, we are asking, by mercy, by mercy, by mercy, you will come down upon every soul. You will come down upon every heart. You will come down upon every mind. You will come down upon my mind. I would understand. I will comprehend with all saints. I will comprehend with all saints. 
Paul said, for this cause, I bow my knees. For this cause, I bow my knees to the Father, to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Pretevered and Teligarosa, of whom the old family in heaven and on earth are named, that he will give you to be strengthened with might by your spirit in the inner man. We are asking Jesus, let there be a supply of strength. Let there be a supply of strength, even to engage heaven in the name of Jesus. To the end that we may be able to comprehend with all saints. We may be able to comprehend with all saints. Messages will not go over my head this evening. Messages will not go over my head. I will understand. I will participate in life. I will participate in truth. I will participate. The apostles ministered with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. With the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. So that hearts can receive the seed. Eli manzo zende lege de vrede balade la te. Ole meje, ole meka, ole masi, ole marote lege de vrede balade la tesia. Yele baba 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 baba. Shambre kete lege de vrede balade la te. Je lege de vrede balade la tesia. Bible talked about a woman in the scripture. They called her name Lydia. He said, "Who's at the Lord has opened." Can we pray and ask Jesus that this evening Jesus will open your heart to realms of understanding in the name of Jesus? I would have entrance, I would have entrance to participate in fellowship, to participate in fellowship. I will not just sit in this auditorium, I will not just put on my streaming device, but I will participate, I will participate in the name of Jesus. Labor and pray for yourself. Pray for the meeting. Pray that everyone gathering, everyone gathering will participate. Every mind will be in this place. Every mind will be looking for Jesus. Every mind will be shouting Maranatha. He said the spirit and the bride says come. That what the spirit is saying is what we'll be saying this evening. What the spirit is saying is what my mind will be saying. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I will not be disconnected. I will not be disconnected from what the Spirit is saying. I will not be disconnected. That this evening, those formations in my heart that is shutting Jesus out. Those arrangements of sin. Those arrangements of iniquity that is locking Jesus out. That is not making me have breakthrough in understanding. Jesus will hack it down. Jesus will knock it down in the name of Jesus. The same help that Paul found. The same help that Paul found. That he met Jesus. That Jesus encountered him. And he that was injurious to the church. Find mercy before Jesus to be turned around. Every soul this evening would encounter Jesus. There will be help. There will be great help. Holy Maragana la telegede, pray, 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 pray. He preceiva la de la te, mushalanda le catolega de vrede barada la te. Holy Marababa, baba, 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 Jesus, you would open my heart. You would open my heart. You are the great shepherd of the sheep. You are the great shepherd of the sheep. You said he that cometh before you, they were thieves and robbers. You are. You are the great shepherd of the sheep. You are the door of the sheep. Jesus, open our hearts. Let us be open to you this evening. In the name of Jesus. You 
said you opened the heart of Lydia. Jesus, open my heart. Open my heart that I may understand. Open my heart that I may participate in life. Open my heart that I may participate in truth. In the name of Jesus. John the beloved said, he said, these things we write unto you, that you might come and fellowship with us. Jesus is calling us even to a zone of fellowship in everlasting life. That that which Jesus will be writing to us by the ministration, even from his, from his servants, even our parents and pastors, we would participate. We would understand. Understanding is a great doorway of participation in the spirit. Understanding is a doorway of participation in the spirit. He that walks that, that, that is not in the in, that John is out of understanding will remain in the congregation of the dead. Jesus, we are asking for a mighty spirit, a mighty spirit of understanding. He to cover the whole camp in the name of Jesus. You may not have this opportunity again to pray till the end of tonight's meeting. I want you to pray. Labor and engage heaven. Engage heaven. There will be supply. There will be help. Jesus, I receive help. Help to understand. Help to comprehend. That light will shine even in my darkness. He said the light shineth in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. That light will shine even in the dark places in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Bring your mind to the meeting. Pray, 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 pray. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Share America. The willingness of Jesus to give us understanding is more than our willingness to participate. But can we ask him? Can we ask him? Since he's willing to give us understanding, he said to us, he's given to know. Jesus, give us understanding. Give me understanding. Give me understanding. Give every one of us understanding. Let us have breakthrough in understanding. In the name of Jesus. Tonight's meeting will be characterized with mighty entrance. Mighty entrance. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding to the simple that would have entrances. In the name of Jesus. Finally, can we pray? Can we pray for our ministers? That a mighty door of utterance, a mighty door of utterance will be open. A mighty door of utterance will be open upon all our ministers, everyone that will stand upon this podium for to push out the world. We pray for a mighty door of utterance. The same way Satan fights understanding, it's the same way he fights utterance. The same way he fights understanding, the same way he fights utterance. He fights utterance much more. We are asking Jesus. By the help of the supply of the Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, a mighty door of utterance, a mighty door of utterance will be opened over us this evening, over this congregation. There will be a mighty door of utterance, a mighty door of utterance. In the same strength, can we lift up our hands and thank Jesus this evening? Can we say, Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for answers to prayer. Thank you for help. Thank you for supply. Thank you for that which you are going to rot in our midst this evening. We give glory to your name, Jesus. Worship Jesus tonight. We give him all the glory in every place where the breath of God has reached out to us. Can we raise a voice and give him worship? Can we speak from our heart? That part that comes from our heart is the worship. That is the worship. 
Can we speak affirmative Swala? Speak out from our spirit. And let's hallow the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. You are God alone from before time began. You were on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. God alone. and by you are on your throne you are God alone let's worship this God almighty let's give him all the praise let's give him honor Four times began. 
find nobody I looked high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody great nobody great and nobody greater than you nobody great nobody great no 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 Searched all over, singing like you know it. Searched all over, still could find and find and find and find a body. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody great, nobody great, no, no, no. Searched all over, searched all over, still couldn't find her. Climbed up to the highest mountain, looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody. <laughs> hey, yeah. Went down into the deepest valley, looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody. Hey, I went across the deep blue sea. Couldn't find one to compare To your grace, your love, your mercy Nobody greater, nobody greater than you Searched all over, couldn't find nobody I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody Nobody great, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Such the lover, such the lover, such the lover. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody great. Nobody 
I climbed up to the highest mountain. I climbed up to the highest mountain. Looked all around over there, couldn't find nobody. Ha <laughs> ha. Went down into the deep end valley. Looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody. Across the deep blue sea. Yeah. I went across the deep blue sea. Couldn't find one to compare. Love your mercy. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Hey, such the love. Couldn't find nobody. nobody. Looks high and low. High and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody great. to your neighbor. Nobody can heal like he does. Oh, most holy one, you are the greater, yeah. Awesome in all your ways and mighty is your hand. You are he who carried our redemption plan. You are he Carried out redemption's plan. Oh, searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody great, nobody great, oh, no, no, no. Worship the Lord this evening from your heart. I tell you, the worship is the one that comes from your heart, it's beyond the lyrics, it's the offering of your spirit, it's the offering from your lips with understanding. Let us give it up to Him. Nobody greater, nobody, nobody, such the Lord. the Lord what name fits you and he said yeah hey then I asked the Lord what name fits you and he said yeah hey then I asked the Lord I've been 
after generation. Generation after generation. Keep praising you. from your spirit I want you from your spirit with understanding hey I ask the Lord what name should I call you Should I praise you and ask the Lord oh, what name fits you? Hey. We have come to worship you. We have come to worship you in beauty, in the revelation of what you show us as God.
righteous, righteous is the Lord righteous, righteous is the Lord righteous, is the Lord God Almighty. That's what I came to say, righteous, righteous is the Lord righteous, righteous is the Lord righteous, is the Lord God Almighty. Oh, from your spirit sing. Righteous, 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 yeah. Righteous, righteous. I am gonna have a cookie sephirical lagada. And he got a banana given a cassa for fire. The earth is full of your glory. The heavens testify your goodness. The sons of men now we worship. Is the Lord God Almighty. Righteous, righteous is the Lord righteous, righteous is the Lord righteous, is the Lord God Almighty. Sing it from your spirit. Because you are righteous, Lord God Almighty. The earth will melt away with a fervent heat, and the present earth will be folded up because you're righteous. Hey, Lord Almighty. Oh, righteous, righteous. Righteous, righteous. Is the Lord righteous. We glorify the Lamb of God.
our joy. Jesus is the sound of rejoicing. Yes. Jesus is the sound of joy. Oh, yes. Is the sound of joy. Jesus is the sound. That the Father loves to hear. Jesus is the sound of rejoicing. Jesus is the sound of joy. Yeah, yeah. Is the truth the way? Is the light? Jesus makes the Father glad. Uh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You're the righteousness, the peace, and the joy in the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the Son. Boy, I could go on a gula tell you could have four for Selele, a lele, la 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 lele, a le olua ni jesu, ogura olua ni jesu, iba go go shani jesu. Oh, you are the autumn, spring, the winter of God. God in all seasons. Yes. Jesus is the sound of rejoicing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the truth. is everlasting life Jesus is the house of God the house of God is the many many mansions of the house of God, the house of God. Jesus the bosom of the father Beautiful, beautiful. Is the room of pleasure, oh. pleasure of Elohim. Uh. Oh, 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 Jesus is the sound of rejoicing. rejoicing. Fairer than the children of men. We want to know you in all of your seasons. Yes. I want to know joy. No joy. No joy. Oh, 
Take us to the city of joy. To the city of joy. Take us to the city of joy. To the city of joy. Of the everlasting king. Jesus. The everlasting the king. The city. Oh. Take us to the city of joy. is the sound of rejoicing
Oh, pastor. That we might become incorruptible. Still Jesus. Undefiled. Still Jesus. And we will, we will fade not away. Jesus, the seed
to be the temple of the Lord. We want to grow up to you. We want to be the habitation of God. We want to grow up to you. We want to hold the hands. We want to grow up to you. We want to grow up to you. To grow, 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 grow. We want to grow up to you. We want to be the generation that brings you back. We want to grow Jesus trusted Jesus yeah trusted by the father trustworthy Jesus oh. you never broke the thrust of the father you never broke the thrust you never broke his trust that the God had put into your care trusted Jesus Trust of the Father. Trustworthy Jesus. You have the trust of the Father. You never broke the trust of the Godhead. He put his trust in you. Jesus. You never touched the hope of the Godhead. You haven't said and will not do it. You are trustworthy Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, trustworthy Jesus. <laughs> you never broke the trust of the Godhead. Lord Jesus, you never dashed the hope of the Godhead. You will bring me to glory. You are faithful. You are trustworthy Jesus <laughs> hey, trustworthy Jesus yes. you never broke the trust of the Godhead Lord Jesus you never touched the hope of deity so faithful and true, you are trustworthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus in this house. Let's just lift our hands and bless the Lord. Let's give thanks to him. Let's honor him. Let's bless him who has been helping us on this mountain. Oh, I want us to celebrate Jesus. I want us to celebrate Jesus. I want us to lift up the Son of God. I want us to extol his majesty. I want us to bless him, bless him. Him who is speaking from the heavens. Him who has been speaking amongst us. Even since the beginning of this meeting, I want us to appreciate him. I want us to appreciate him. Him who is giving us the, 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 the precepts, the lines, the doctrines that will cause us to embody his life. Let's just honor him this evening. Let's honor him tonight. Oh, Masekatala Brosefasata. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I can hear your voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Good evening. Please welcome the person sitting beside you. Uh, welcome them. Welcome them to day three evening session. So you are welcome. You are welcome to this mountain. You are welcome. You are welcome to this place. Welcome them, welcome them. Tell them they're looking beautiful. 
Oh, they are looking handsome? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Larry and the team. Hallelujah. Uh, please welcome them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, this is very strange for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just meant to bring the ministers up, but it's still very strange. Amen. Amen. The, the lights, the presence. I'm just shaking, you know. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I want us to, let's appreciate our daddy and our mommy. Let's celebrate them. Daddy, mommy, let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Uh, the apostles over this commission, those who God has raised. Amen. They have hazarded their life for the gospel. Amen. It's, not it it's very difficult for God to arrest men. You know, men who can stand in a particular lot. Men who can stand in a place. Men who can be allowed to be led in a certain way. You know, it will take certain leadings uh, to be able to arrive at where we are. Amen? And we have not just arrived at a ministry. How many agree that we have not just arrived at a ministry? We have not just arrived at EGFM. Amen? We have arrived at the vision of God. Amen? You know, that Ibusi was teaching us yesterday that this message is not our message. It is not our emphasis. Amen? It is the program of God. It is what God intends to do. You know, the very purposes of God to communicate his heart and his mind uh, to men. Hallelujah. So I want to appreciate you, Daddy. I want to appreciate you, Mommy. Thank you for laboring over us tirelessly. Amen. Maybe if you look at Daddy in Lagos, Daddy might look very, very glamorous in Lagos. Amen. But Daddy is a workaholic. Amen. In other places of the world. Amen. In season out of season. You know, in very, very you know, comfortable and uncomfortable, most times uncomfortable accommodations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So even though that is a very, very great man of God, but that he has suffered what majority in this place have not suffered. Amen. And I'm not talking of the days when he was in the wilderness. Amen. I'm talking of these days that we think are days of glory. There are some things that your mommy still go through uh, and I wonder that it may only be the Lord. Amen. So thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for... Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. I'm not flattering them. You know, we are not flattering them. Uh, they have not changed their message. Amen. Even though there's been additions, there have been growth, there have been things added. Uh, but the message has not changed. Amen. Because God has... Uh, God has apprehended them. They are prisoners. Amen. They are prisoners. So I appreciate you, sir. And I appreciate you, ma. Let's appreciate them again. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to appreciate all the great men of God. Our daddy, Reverend Busi. Thank you, sir. Uh, Reverend Bingwe. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Let's celebrate them. We are not celebrating them. We are not appreciating them. Let's appreciate them. You know... Well, who we are appreciating, we are appreciating Jesus. Amen? We are appreciating Jesus because it is who, who first descended and ascended and gave gifts to men. He gave himself to men. Amen? Hallelujah. And if you don't receive the gift of men, you can't receive the gift of God. Amen? Because the gift of God is in men. He first did his gift in Jesus. Jesus was first the work of God. Hallelujah. So that's why we celebrate these people. I like to explain it sometimes. You know, there's a story I read in the Bible. Uh, it's a story of the rich man and Lazarus. Now, in that story, one of the things that happened was the rich man died and Lazarus died. Uh, let, let's cut the story short. He was asking, he said, Father Abraham, tell Lazarus to come and, you know, cool my tongue. He said, no, it can't, it can't happen. There's a great God fixed. You know, there's a gap. You know, the things we do in the, in the days of our life puts a gap, you know. It puts a gap. That he was teaching earlier today. But something happened. You know, I said, okay, if you can't use Lazarus, why don't you send some people, you know, from that place, send them to come, go and talk to my brothers. I don't want my brothers to have this experience because the way I lived my life um, on earth ended me here. But what happened? <laughs> uh, he said, no, they have people there. 
Amen. They have people. He said, even if we send people from here, if, if we send them, what will happen? He said, they will still not hear. Hallelujah. So we have to be able to discern the gift of men, the work of God in men. So I celebrate you, sir. I celebrate you, ma'am. Hallelujah. Uh, let's appreciate our pastor, Pastor Mecca. I appreciate you, sir. And mommy Lillian. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming to the UK to be a blessing to us. And happy birthday to you, sir. Happy birthday. It's a birthday. Well, it was last month, but it's still your birthday. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I celebrate you, sir. Amen. Uh, Reverend Ken, good to see you, sir. And Pastor Joel. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. I hope you had a lovely trip. Good to see you, ma. Hallelujah. Reverend Ezra, good to see you. And mama, thank you. Let's appreciate them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all the pastors, I want to appreciate uh, my seniors, Pastor Thompson Ehima. Let's appreciate Pastor and Pastor Madupe, uh, Pastor Tosi and Pastor Precious, uh, Pastor Dimeji Elugadebo. I appreciate you, sir. Celebrate God's grace on your life. Thank you for coming to the UK to bless us. Uh, Pastor Makam, I appreciate you. The Lord bless you. I want to appreciate all our mommies. Let's appreciate our mommies. Mommy Akinola, uh, Mommy Afalabi, Mommy Zoge, I appreciate you. Mommy Oko, uh, thank you so much, ma. Thank you for being an example uh, of mothers. Hallelujah. I appreciate all our pastors uh, from the UK. I appreciate Pastor Clay. I appreciate Reverend Ben, Pastor Tayo Fasa. Uh, my Oga, Pastor Moses, I appreciate you, Pastor Ken, uh, I appreciate all of you, let's appreciate our pastors, let's appreciate them, let's celebrate God's grace on their life, these are people who labor tirelessly to see that we come into the things that God is calling us into, hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen, I think my job is done, it's good, I can go down, <laughs> praise the Lord, <laughs> hallelujah, uh, I want to bring up a servant of God uh, to bless us. Uh, you know, God has been really speaking to us uh, in the last three days. This is the third day now. Uh, and I know that there is more to push us into tonight. Uh, it's a thing of the heart. Daddy was uh, speaking tonight, uh, earlier this morning. It's a thing of the heart. There is something, there is a configuration they want to do in our heart. Uh, and that's what will change the, our climate, our heavens. There is a kind of sense. There is a kind of understanding. There is a kind of way of life. There is a way of thinking that we need to invest from the word of God. So I trust that as God's servant come tonight, we will be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. With Jesus' joy, let's put our hands together. As I invite Pastor Dimeji, a look by the ball. City Gates Church, Ibada. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Let's appreciate Pastor. Let's appreciate Pastor. Amen. Amen. Can we give Jesus that glory? Let's give Jesus a big hand. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm highly honored to be here tonight. It's a privilege under God and under our parents, um, Daddy and Mommy Oyugoke. Um, what's filled me to appreciate you for your immense contribution to my life, my family, my ministry, our local church, and then to this generation. Uh, many times I thank God that I met you. And I thank God that um, the Lord has kept us following you, son. I thank you so much for all that you represent and all that you are still bearing. Um, we can see it. And well, we are encouraged on one side, and on the other side, we are afraid. Uh, because uh, that fear is, not, it's, uh, is, a, is, a, is a godly fear of the demands of being body bearers for God. Thank you so much, Sam. I really appreciate you. I want to do this and follow Pastor Mika also. And thank you so much uh, for everything, Sam. I know you don't want this, but thank you, Sam. We appreciate you. 
I'm doing this on behalf of my brothers and our generation. Thank you for all that you are doing. Um, heaven sees it, sir. Heaven sees it, ma. Thank you so much. Can we recognize them and appreciate them? Thank you so much, sir, ma. Hallelujah. Amen. I am here today because of daddy and mommy. Obviously. Thank you, sir. Amen. You can have your seat in God's wonderful presence. I don't know if I can have this pulpit to come down, if it's possible. If not, okay, please. I feel a little bit more comfortable staying down. I might not be able to do all the greeting tonight, but I want to greet the senior ministers and our fathers in the house um, in their particular order. I want to greet Daddy and Mommy Olabode from Ondo. Thank you so much, sir. And Ma, we love you dearly. Thank you for all that you do and represent. I want to greet um, Pastor Mike Bushuku and Mommy Lillian. Thank you, sir. And happy 50th birthday. You know, I had an opportunity to work closely with Pastor in the United Kingdom in April, and it was awesome. Uh, your, humi your humility is actually awesome. Thank you, sir. I count it as a privilege for you to allow me to minister alongside you. Uh, most of the time, you allow me to preach first, you know, and I learned a lot from you. I learned a lot from you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, ma. Can we appreciate them, please? Thank you, sir and ma. I want to greet Reverend Ken <laughs> and Mommy Joanne. Can we appreciate them? You're welcome, sir and ma. Thank you for being here. Amen. I greet all the ministers, Reverend Gabi, uh, uh, Gabriel Estrom. Can we appreciate him? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your humility and your wonderful spirit. I greet Mommy Ajimati. Thank you so much, ma. Can we appreciate him? That's my wise pastor. <laughs> Can we appreciate him? Um, Reverend Olagudoye, sir. I greet you, sir. Can we appreciate him also? I greet all the mothers. Can we appreciate all the mothers? Please keep clapping for them. I especially greet Pastor Ajoke Kolewo for being fundamentally relevant in my life when I was young and growing in the faith. Thank you so much. So thank you, Ma. Thank you for being a blessing. Thank you so much, Ma. Can we appreciate her? She taught me faith. She taught me prayer. Thank you so much, Ma. I won't forget that. Amen. And I greet all my friends, Pastor Thompson and the wife. Um, can we appreciate them? They are better preachers than myself. Amen. Pastor Tosi Gabriel and Pastor Precious. Can we appreciate them? And all the ministers, I greet you from my heart. Amen. I just have a very short time um, this evening and I trust God for grace. Can we say a word of prayer? Father, we give you thanks for your blessings on this holy ground. We'll give you thanks for your faithfulness to us. We'll thank you for bringing us this far. As a people, we are grateful. Thank you for steering the ship. Thank you for your servant and your handmaiden. Lord, thank you for keeping us on the course of eternal life. Thank you because you have helped us as a people to keep pursuing you, to keep seeking you, to keep making progress year in, year out. We are grateful. We give you all that glory. We give you all that honor. We thank you for grace that you have supplied. Oh, we give you thanks. We we'll thank you. We we'll thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Beacon 2023. Thank you for the open heavens. Thank you for your presence in this meeting. Thank you for ministering spirits that you have sent to help us. We are grateful, Jesus. Jesus, we are grateful. Jesus, we are grateful. Jesus, we are grateful. We are grateful, Jesus. You are here with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing us abundant mercies. Thank you for showing this house mercies. Mercy, mercy, mercies. Much mercies. We give you thanks, our Lord. We give you glory. We give you thanks, honor, adoration. Thank you, Lord. Ilabaste freban, yelesefen, yelaban, yatestakaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We honor you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. 
We fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. We, f we fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. Shubalia fafarana ka kamenes to palia frabalia tastea. We fear you, Jesus. We fear you, Jesus. You are here with us. Yes, you are here. You are here with us, Jesus. Jesus is here. Our Lord 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 Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is here. The head of the church is here. Our Lord Jesus is here. We fear you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We reverence you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. I appreciate my wife in absentia. Her heart is here. But she, we fought for her to come, but there was nothing e everywhere we fought. There was dead end. Um, but, sweetheart, thank you. I know you are streaming. She's, she's connected. In fact, she got to worship before I got down. So, thank you, sweetheart, for your love and your support through the years. I love you dearly. Can you appreciate my wife also? Thank you. Amen. Okay, I received grace to be able to uh, minister what is in your heart, sir. I trust God for grace and mercy. Egalante, Egalante, Timoi, Timohibo, Katsetsoe, E Olihen, Ukusavuno, Iumehon. I own unto you, Beno, I own to you, I am to you, I am to you, Hamakas has sent to you, I am faint to you, I am here to you, I have come to you, I am here with you, I am here for you, I am on here, I am in here with you, I have bring, bring you here. I'm up and bring you. I'm told to bring you to you. I am bringing to you. I am here to bring to you. To bring you up. I'll take you up. I'm taking you up now. Taking you to him. I'll remake a turn. I'm bringing you up to him. I'm bringing you up to him now. Our text says take you up. Sent me to take you up to him. You make a queer, you should succeed, you will perceive, you will be sassonder, you will can't him, okay, he, you will summon to him, you will heal the seal, you will seal. All of them, you seem to seal. You want him to he and he here. You have to send you to seal him. You have to home to bring to seal them. I have to, to make you make you come to seal. You have to seal them. You come here to come, you come here to seal them. I have come to, come to come to bring you help. I bring you help to seal them. I am giving you to bring you to bring you bring you. I'm bringing you that the help to, to help them. You 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 seal them. You you cut them here. You kick you on to, to sell them. Help them. You help sell them. Help them. Help them. You help them. You soon you soon here. You you soon here. You soon soon be. You soon here. You are some here. You some here. You help them. You soon help them. You are here to help them. You help them, you seal them. You help them, you help them. You see, show soon the head hand here, see. At hands at here, see. You have the nod, you have the med, you have a list, you have a rambus. You have to pray, you bring gay, and when see, our Hamilton bring you help. I have a creams, creams, I have to crowns, I have to grains, I have to bring you up. And, and I'm bringing you to help. I'm bringing your help to you. I'm bringing your help to you now. Satan to you, Satan to you. Oh Lord, Nasu. I'm bringing your help to you. Oh, your own help. I've sent help to you. I have sent help to you. I'm here. I send help, help to you. Help, 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 help is here. Your help is here. 
is here. He's here with you. Your own help is here with you. Your help is in. Is here. Your hand, angel is here. Your own angel is here. Your angel is here with you. I've sent your angel now with you. I just send your angel to you. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Um, we have been receiving so much grace uh, since this meeting began. And I just sense that we need to build on the particular emphasis that have already um, been laid um, by our fathers. Um, I just sense that um, the Lord wants us to strengthen some things more. Can we say amen? amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. Okay, so um, let's start from verse 1. We'll read to verse 2. Um, we then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. We then as workers together with him um, beseech you that you receive not the grace of God in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. Can we say time accepted? Um, these are measures in the spirit to measure the building of God's house. Um, one of the things that is clear with um, apostles that wrote the epistles is that there were men that had a strong sense of measurement in the building of God's house. Can we say amen? amen. Now when I mean building God's house, I mean building the stature of God in men. There were men that had insight into the landmarks and the measures in building. Can we say amen? Now, Paul is referring to a particular season here. I had introduced the Corinthian church into the era of the ministry of glory. And as we have established that the ministry of glory is also the ministry of salvation. Can we say amen? amen. Salvation is glorious. Can we all say that? Salvation is Come on, let's say that one more time. So to be saved to the uttermost is to be made glorious. Now, we need to also reestablish that the concept of salvation in the New Testament is beyond the new birth. Okay, we have to say this again so that we can strengthen our understanding of the landmark or the definition of God for salvation. In the New Testament, salvation is to acquire the stature of God in the flesh. Amen. What did I say salvation is? Or is the building of God's stature in man. Okay? Or we can say salvation is the erection of God's temple. To be saved is to become a full temple of God. What did I say? Now actually when we got born again, even though we call ourselves the temples of God. Yes, um, that's true somewhere. But in a very technical sense, we were temples of the Holy Ghost. Even in the sense of being temples of the Holy Ghost, we were not even full temples of the Holy Ghost. But for you to be a temple of the Holy Ghost, you must have the name of the Holy Ghost. Okay, that name of the Holy Ghost is the measurement of the stature of God in the Holy Ghost that can make you a temple of the Holy Ghost. So to be a temple of the Holy Ghost, you must be sealed with the name of the Holy Ghost. So ceilings are measurements or landmark in temple building. Your seal is your measure. Hallelujah. What did I say? Come on, let's say that once more time. So when Jesus commissioned the apostles in Matthew chapter 28 from verse 19, um, he said that they should teach nations. Um, he said, go baptize and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So you can see what Jesus gave them was the commission to raise the full temple of God in men. 
each of those names, there are measurements in temple building. Beginning with the name of the Holy Ghost. Can, can we say amen? amen? Then the name of the Son and then the name of the Father. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen. I can hear your amen. amen. So salvation in the New Testament is to come into the full stature of God in the body. That's complete building. Temple finished. Temple completed. Man acquired the image of righteousness. Now let's go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. I believe the Lord is helping us. Can we say amen? amen. Now look at chapter 5. The last from verse 20. Chapter 5 from verse 20. Um, Paul says, Now we as ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, pray Pray you in Christ that be ye what? Reconciled to God. So we understand that the Corinthian church had not completed the full course of salvation. Okay? That reconciliation there is, is the measurement of uh, finishing the building of God in man. Now, to a measure, God had worked a level of um, building in them. I think it was daddy that preached the first night and it says that they were first a um, how would I put it? It said that sanctification is the first um, measurement of building. It referred sanctification as the building of the temple of Christ. Can we say amen? Or the sanctuary. That's where you get sanctification from. Okay? So sanctification is to raise a sanctuary. A sanctuary is a temple of Christ. Can we say amen? But um, there is more to the building of God's temple than becoming a temple of Christ or an holy temple. An holy temple has a measurement that is not a full measurement of God in man. Amen. Hallelujah. So Paul referring to the image, now look at the next verse, he says, image of righteousness. That's what I'm interested in. It means the landmark for building is image. That's where I'm going. How you measure progress in building. When you say, what is God's building in us? What is he building in us? Is the building of image in us. The image of God is our materials of the temple or are the stature of God's life being what? Built in man. So salvation is actually the revelation of God's nature. Salvation is the revelation of God's nature. And God wants to lay salvation slabs in us. Can we say amen? amen. Until we become a full temple. Where we are witnesses of his image. Hallelujah. So he says, for he had made him to be sin for us. Wouldn't you know sin? That we might be what? The righteousness of God. Can we say the righteousness of God? Let's say that again. The righteousness of God in him. So, righteousnesses are, are revealed from faith to faith are the measurements of building. Okay? So, until righteousness is completely revealed, we cannot have a full temple. So, a full temple of God is a temple of what? Full righteousness. Everybody say full righteousness. Daniel 9 calls it everlasting righteousness. So righteousness is from one level to the other. With each level of righteousness, there's a level of image that is built in us. Amen. That image carries is a measurement of the temple. So the full temple is the, you know, when you look at the temple, the temple actually is horizontal when we look at it from an earthly perspective. But the way God sees temple is that the temple is a vertical structure. Can we say amen? So we are supposed to be the temple of God on the earth. Can we say amen? amen. God building us up into him, into fullness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So salvation. Now let's look at So the day of salvation. Let's look at that verse 2. Of 2 Corinthians 6. The day of salvation is what I'm interested in. I don't know who mentioned it. Um, one of the preachers, I'm not sure, I think it was Pastor Maker or Reverend Busui. 
The day of salvation is the day that God will finish the building. It's the day, what do we mean day? We're not talking about a particular year in the calendar of man. It is the, it's the season in the spirit where salvation will be fully revealed in men. Can we say amen? amen? Salvation will be taught to men and men will bear witness to salvation. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen? Now look at it again. So look at it. It says, so for I said, verse 2 of 2 Corinthians chapter 6. It says, for he said, I have heard thee in the time accepted. So the time accepted is the last time in the season of the sanctuary. The sanctuary has two years. Oh, we have the good year and the acceptable year. Can we say amen? And those measurements are also landmark in temple building. In the season of Christ, we have the season of life and the season of peace. What did I say we have? So to come into the season of the full sanctuary, you must arrive at the nature of peace. Now, one of the major breakthroughs that has come into the Word of Righteousness community this year is the teaching on precept and lines. I remember when I first heard it, I think that it was in the UK. And I was hearing, I was falling, I told myself that this is actually, a, you know, we, when we say scientific breakthrough, you know, we celebrate scientific breakthrough. Uh, uh, you know, when there's an invention and all that. I saw it in my spirit that it was a major, a breakthrough in the spirit to give us a, a, the proper sense of, of building. Because there is no way you can understand the way God builds without understanding God's measurements. Can we say amen? amen. So God gave us a sense of how he builds. Amen. Hallelujah. So, the, the, in the, measurement, the full measurement of the temple of Christ is a man coming into a season of peace. Peace with God. So, that peace is actually how you measure a man that can begin to respond to the calling of salvation. So, how do we know that we are ready? You know, for several, time, several years I've thought about it that how can we come into the actuality of laying hold on these substances. You know, so much labor has gone ahead. Can we say amen? amen? Now I know that the reason why precepts are taught is to quickly bring us into lines. So now we have had the precepts of everlasting life, but for us to be able to lay hold eh, on on, on everlasting life, we must have come into the measure, the full measure of Christ. It is those that have come into the full, when I mean measure of Christ, I'm talking about the measure of peace in a nature. They must have walked that nature of peace in you for you to be able to comprehend what salvation is. Can we say amen? amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. So why am I saying this? The acceptable time is that season when we are ready for salvation. When we have journeyed uh, and we have acquired the measure of a nature that can press into salvation. So the day of salvation and the acceptable time is an intercept. I've taught it before. When you are the acceptable time, you are actually one leg in the day of salvation. Look at it. Can we say amen? Amen. Yes, it says, for I've had thee in the time accepted and in the day of what? Salvation. So, as you are finishing the acceptable year, in that time, called the acceptable time, you are ready in what? The day of salvation. It is to these people that the consciousness of salvation will begin to dawn. The consciousness of salvation begins to die. I sense in my spirit that is what they want to do this year. Ask me why. There is no more time. Oh, I have some very strange encounters before this meeting. One of it was like, uh, one, of, one of the Thursdays in church, during our midweek service, we were ministering. And so we have not had interruption of tongues concerning beacon. One of the things that the Lord told us was sealing. That it needs to seal people fast. And now, you know, I just saw that. That was what you were saying. 
in that tongue, daddy was saying ceiling. So there is, I sense in my spirit that they have to do a, a kind of fast walk. I don't know how I can explain it, but I know that they want to do a quick walk. A quick walk in righteousness. Can we say amen? I'm not hearing your amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They want to give us understanding of everlasting life. More than what we have known. Oh, no, we have taught the precepts very well. Can we say amen? amen? But I sense in my spirit that in this convention, we are going to have a major breakthrough. That men will actually lay hold on the measure of salvation. For, so, so, in the, so the day of salvation is the day where God will finish the building of the temple in us. I just saw this and I just felt I should talk around the temple. Can we say amen? Okay. So it is that season where we can begin to respond to the heavenly measures for the building of God's house. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's now take a little bit. Let's go down to the same, you know, um, chapter 6. It says, we then as workers together with him. These workers here are not church workers. Uh, workers here are those that are walking the works of God's day. Uh, and these are the they are the, they are the lines of salvation. Or the measures of salvation. So we is a worker. Somebody that is measuring up to salvation. Amen. What do I say a worker is? Uh -huh. So it says, we then as workers together with him. That's very powerful. We then. Now it's not all of the Corinthian church that we're walking. Uh, Paul had gone ahead. There were those that had gone ahead in the walking of the day of salvation. So as we then as workers together, beseech you that you receive not grace. What is that grace? Is empowerment to be saved. Amen. Grace there is energy eh, to trap the nature of salvation. Is to trap substances of salvation. Grace there is power empowerment to be able to bear witness to salvation. It says, do not use the grace of God in vain. Can we say amen? amen? Why? We have come into that season where God wants to save men. Yes, sir. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things I sense strongly is that there is so much clarity of commandment. Oh, you cannot escape that one. There is in the, in the last six to one, month, one year, there's been so much clarity of commandment, meaning what to do. Eh? He's always coming. So these words are not just coming in, in precepts. They are coming with clear instruction from the Spirit on what to do eh? to come or well, to be saved. Can we say amen? Now look at John 6 quickly. Hallelujah. Oh, God will help me. Can we say amen? amen. I can't hear your hey, man. amen. Look at John 6, 28. Then they said unto him, What shall we do? That we, what? Might walk the works of God. I like what works of God. So God has works. What did I say God has? Now the works of God are the measures of God that must work itself in you to carry God's nature. Eh? God must work out something in you. So he says, what shall we do that we might walk the works of God? And Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God. Now go to verse 27. Quickly. I want to do a connection. Labor not for the meat that perished. Look at that. Labor not for the meat that perished. But for what? The meat that what? Endure it. Everybody say endure it. For unto what? So he's talking about everlasting meat. This meat here is talking about strong meat. Can we say amen? amen. Uh, labor not for the meat. There's, there's a meat that perishes. He says, but for the meat which endures. Unto what? Everlasting life. So accessing everlasting life. You can't access everlasting life without doctrine. 
Yes, you can access everlasting life without the meat of everlasting life. It is the food of everlasting life. You know, Jesus in John chapter 4, verse 34, he says, my, my food is to what? My food is to do the will of him that what? Sent me and what? Finish the work. Now, I like that. Let's do some revelational connections here. Jesus connected three things in one. Food, meat, will, and work. Jesus said to them, my meat is to what? Do the will. So meat is will. What did I say meat is? And doing will is walking. So how are you a walker? By doing what? Will. So will will be measured to you. As will is being measured, as you do it, you are walking. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? Amen. While in a season of praying for convention, I had an experience. I'll be sharing some of them as I minister. It was a very strange one. I saw myself serving a father in the body. I was just waiting upon him, you know, and it was as if I was his house boy in my house. It was a very strange experience. It was my house, but he was the one in charge. So even though it was my house, I was submitting to him. He was sending me on herald. So I was waiting on him. There was so much presence around him. So all of a sudden, I saw his, his shoes. And when I saw his shoes, those shoes were, I've never seen that kind of shoes before in my life. They were beautiful. They were like heavenly. It was like royalty. I was, I was looking at the shoe. Then all of a sudden, he removed the shoe. Then his feet came out. His feet was big. Big feet. So when I saw the feet, I now looked at it. That how can this kind of feet enter this shoe? That was what I was thinking in my mind. Eh? So the Lord was telling me that that walk was an eating walk. Eh? And after I saw the food, I began to pray. The Lord told me about the Father's feet. I don't know. So I, up to now, I don't know the meaning fully. He says, keep praying for the feet of the Father's. He said, you need the father's feet. I now know that, as far as I know, that feet is a measurement of work. Now, we are in the day. Eh? In the day of God, what you need to walk is the father's feet. You need a feet that can do work. And eh? walk. And you know that, as I think it was that that was teaching us, sir, that your walk is how they build your stature. So what, what I'm saying is that there will measure will. You will walk the will. And as they are, you are walking the will, they are gradually raising your stature. Can we say amen? amen? So what does it mean to finish his work? To finish his work is for them to finish salvation work in you. Finished work is complete temple. What did I say finished work is? Oh, you are not talking to me. What did I say finished work is? Finish his work. So, you can see when Paul says walkers. So, you see, men, men, those men had sense of destination. And they knew how they needed to take advantage of being in the flesh to quickly walk out the walk of him. I say, may God grant us that consciousness. Yeah. One of the things this beacon is doing is to grant you that sense eh, of, or, you know, of hastening in doing God's work. Hallelujah. Amen. Now take me back to John. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? So labor not for the meat that perished, but the meat that endured for what? Unto everlasting life. Unto. So you can replace everlasting life there as what? Salvation. Amen. There is a meat that can deliver to you salvation. Everybody says salvation. salvation. Now, salvation in the New Testament is to be, is to be, is to acquire the qualities of the incorruptible what nature of God. Peter described it in First Peter chapter one verse four to an inheritance that is incorruptible. Those are the new definitions of salvation that is consistent with apostolic emphasis in the New Testament. Yes. Salvation is far beyond you getting born again. It's to journey to a state where you are what? Incorruptible. That you are what? 
even in salvation, there are measures. There is incorruptible, there is what? On the fire. God says, an incorruptible man is 30 fold in the world of salvation. And then on the fire is what? 60 fold. And there is none now what? Unfading. Hallelujah. Everybody say unfading. So an unfading man is a finished temple. An unfading man is a finished temple. He is one that by walking the wheel of him that sent him has concluded the building of salvation in his own temple. Hallelujah. So all of us are temples, but they are not measurement in what? Salvation in us. And now we have come into a season where there is now a massive onslaught against the temples of men. That the only people that can withstand those temples are those that they have raised and erected the building of God in them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, take me back to 2 Corinthians 6. I don't know if, am I making any sense? Okay, so now, aha, now take me now to, thank you. Thank you. Take me to the last few verses, okay? Okay, take me to chapter 7, then I'll go back. That I just sense I should talk around temple. Okay. Can we say amen? Okay, so let me say this, okay? Can you briefly take me to Ephesians 2, verse 20? Let me just say one or two things. Pastor Tokwe did a good job yesterday while ministering. He has told us that we have two gospels, okay? Gospel of what are the two gospels Pastor Tokwe taught us yesterday? Can we remember? Gospel of what? Christ and the gospel of God. And he also called it the, the power and coming of our Lord. It's clear. Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? amen? So, let's see it in the context of temple. Because it is the gospel of Christ or what he called the gospel of peace that we build the temple of peace. The temple of peace is a measurement of what sanctification in a man. What did I call the What did I call the temple of peace? So when they measure a man, they can measure sanctification level. Ah, God measures us. They measure us. Now look at it. That's the sense the apostles had. Now look at it. It says, "And and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets." Uh, Jesus himself being what? The chief cornerstone. Look at that. Chief cornerstone. Thank God for the ministry of these are New Testament apostles and prophets that they know how to find cornerstone. It's not like the ones we have today. Can we say amen? May God show us mercy. I think one of the most attacked ministries are these two ministries. Can we say amen? And it's, it's, it's the enemy. So when you're on them Apostles and prophets of the New Testament, Jesus will be vivid. That's how you know. Jesus will be what? Vivid. It's not men that will be vivid. What will be vivid? Apostles of Jesus, they know how to hide themselves. So that their ministry magnifies Jesus at a very high strength. And we need this ministry back. Can we say amen? In the original form, Jesus is going to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in whom all the building, look at that, fitly framed. This is very powerful. Great up into what? An holy temple in the Lord. So, that's one. So, you can see. So, the temple of, the holy temple is the measurement eh, that you get when you have learned the gospel of Christ. The gospel of Christ should produce this. The gospel of Christ will produce sanctuary men. Men of the sanctuary. Yeah. Huh? Being justified by faith. Be, therefore being justified by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. We we'll thank God for the new birth. But justification by faith is far beyond the new birth. The soul must be made just. I know we always say we are Abraham's children. But Abraham was justified by faith. Pastor America, he was justified by obedience. So this one is not new, but. Hallelujah. 
So therefore, being justified by faith, we have what? So Ebe said we have peace. So when he say you have peace, is a measure. Peace becomes an inheritance by obedience eh, to the truth in Christ. So when I walk by faith, now what does it, it mean to walk by faith? To obey revealed righteousness. Revealed righteousness are the standards of truth in the gospel of Christ. Obeying it will bring me to a place where I come into the measurement of peace. Everybody say peace. I like it. We have peace with God. Through what? Our Lord Jesus. Can we say amen? amen? I can tell you this, brethren. We have to quickly be a company of peace. We quickly, we don't have time. And the conversation of peace is charity. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not getting response. Amen. amen. Glory to God. What did I say is the conversation of peace? Oh, what was that about tonight's message? Yesterday's message, I was just praying. I said, I, 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 have I loved God's sermon as much as church should love him? That I need to have fervent love for you, sir. Yes. It is the, <laughs> those, are the those are the conversations in the world of peace. Amen. Peace conversation is measured by charity work amidst us. Our love for one another should be bona fairly, fairly hot one. Very hot one. Those are people of peace. Can we say amen? amen? Now, I want to come to a point where, amen. Let me tell you why I'm saying this. I'm saying this intentionally. I don't want anything to go wrong in my relationship with you, sir. I can't even imagine it. Now, one of the reasons why, and why I'm saying so is that I must come into a kind of Love conversation that is fervently fervent. Hallelujah. So people of peace are lovers. Amen. Am I making some sense? What did I say people of peace are? So how you measure peace? The peace walk, because it's a walk, or the peace dominion in a people is their, war, their charity conversation with one another. So it says we have peace, so we can have peace. I'm not hearing you, amen. amen. Sorry, sir. I said we can have peace. Amen. We can have peace amongst one another. We can have peace. We can have peace. Now let, let me finish up. Let me finish up. I'm going somewhere. Amen. amen. Now I'm, I'm teaching everlasting life from another door. Yes. Because everlasting life is coming into salvation. Yes, sir. What did I say everlasting life is? And God gives his life in portions. Yes, sir. Yes. And so, for us to come into the measure of salvation, we must have done well with the measure of peace. Eh? And the measure of life for unto the measure of peace. Can we say amen? No, I mean Romans chapter 5. Let me conclude. I'm coming back here. No, no, no. Romans chapter 5. Thank you. Now, next verse, please. Quickly. By whom we have access, look at that, by faith, into what? This grace wherein we will stand. I like that. Can we say amen? Eh? And what? Rejoice in the hope. So a peace company are standing. I like that word standing. It's a measure of strength. So charity is a kind of strength. It gives you the ability to stand to be raised. Now, for you to come into everlasting dominion, you must be standing. Thank you, sir. You must be standing. What does that standing mean? It means you have journeyed through the courts and you have the veil that partitions the holy place and the most holy. I like that word standing. is a measure of strength. People of peace are people that are what? Standing. Why? Because... They want to bring salvation measurements to us. Uh, so stand and what? Rejoice in hope of the glory of God. I like that. Rejoice in hope. So meaning we now have clear visions for the glory of God. Can we say amen? amen. Now glory of God here yeah, is salvation. Hallelujah. In the New Testament, salvation is what the prophets called glory 
in the Old Testament. So there is no message of glory without salvation. Any glory that can expire is not glory. You know when I say Ogo that Ayelegba, it's not even your Ogo before. You know what I'm talking about? A any glory that can be corruptible is not your glory. Any glory that can be stolen is not your glory. And it's even better there's still some glory. You don't need those glory. You don't need it. If it's corruptible, it's not yours. The most glorious thing that can happen to you is for you to have the building of God erected in you. It's for you to be a walking temple. Hallelujah! So we rejoice in hope. I like the word in hope. Hope means that we are, we are now seeing the promise of salvation clearly. Huh? In hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look at the next verse. Then we'll go to second. And not only so, we glory in tribulation. How many of you are ready to glory in tribulation? Because we are moving into the measurements of the world of salvation. So, tribulations are coming. There are tribulations... They don't measure salvation without tribulation. It's not possible. Huh? So, because of the sight of the glory of God, you will rejoice in tribulations also. You rejoice. Why? Knowing that tribulation worketh what? Patience. So, these are measurements in the world of salvation. Huh? And patience, what? Experience. And experience hope. Huh? And hope make it not ashamed because the love of God is what? Shed abroad our hearts by the Holy Ghost. So this is the activity of the Holy Ghost in the everlasting kingdom. So this love of God here is a high measurement of love that delivers God's nature. It's a love that administers nature of God. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is the one that administers it in the power of the revelation of salvation. Can we say amen? amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. Now let's go to 2 Corinthians 7. Thank you. I'm coming back to six. Let's just take a little bit leap at seven. So, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us what? Cleanse ourselves from what? All filthiness of what? Flesh and spirit. I like that. All filthiness of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness. So, I cannot perfect holiness except I'm being what? Cleansed. Eh? Now, what is cleansing? That cleansing is the raising of the stature of Christ and God in us against sin stature. Now, sin is a counter temple. Amen. Amen. I will soon finish my thought. What did I say sin is? Sin is also, is also a temple. Sin is a building. Uh -huh. So, for you to deal with the building of sin and death. By sin, I mean sin of the world. And then death. By death, I mean iniquity. You see, those two things, they are temples. And they are temples in men by nature. The actual work of ministry in the New Testament is to repair temples. We have broken down temples by sin. That word perfection is the word catatismus. It means to repair broken down temples. Ministry is not blessing people carnally. You don't need God for that to be done. Real ministry in the New Testament is to fix your building that has been dilapidated. Buildings where desolations of sin has occurred. That's why that was God. Someone was telling us this in the battle. If you don't have measurements, you can't fix men. You know, pastors. You know what I'm talking about. Pastor, you know what I'm talking about. People have things inside, and somebody's face can be innocent. The person does not even know what is worrying him. Sin is a mystery. 
And as a pastor, you can just be talking over people's head. Eh? And sin is growing. What it means to be New Testament ministers is that you have, you have the solution. Eh? You have the solution to sin. You can catch sin in all of its shades. So, remission of sins, what did I say? Is what you do to deal eh, with the sin of this world. Remission of sin is like, when you say someone is going through remission of sin, it's actually raising a man. This is a resurrection. When a man's sins are being remitted, he's being raised. What makes men dead is what? Sin. So you cannot raise a man if you are not dealing with sin. Cleansing is how you raise men. Church is a cleansing center. It's a place of his hope. Hallelujah. Where people are being treated. Huh? So he says, so I've been there for these promises. What are those promises? Those promises are secrets of the kingdom. Eh? They are secrets. So you need secrets to deal with a secret. Because sin is a secret. It's a mystery. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I believe God is raising priests. Yes, People amongst us. God is raising a company of priests. Can we say amen? amen. People that have sight. And you can't, talk, you can't talk about New Testament ministry without knowing, not knowing how to deal with the desolations of sin in men. You can't talk about Understanding the kingdom of God without knowing the architecture of sin structure, amen. Because you can, you can, he, you can deliver somebody from demonic oppression. Does not mean you have healed such a soul. Carnality cannot be casted away. Interpretation of how someone sees life cannot be cast away. Uh -huh. So, why you can deal with demons by the milk of the world and uh, to deal with sin structure in man, you need Christ first. Uh, you know, sin is a structure. You can't tamper with sin except you have been empowered to access the mysteries of the kingdom, beginning with the mystery of Christ. Can we say amen? amen. So, the, the, the gospel of Christ is what, you, is what facilitates remission of sin to raise the first temple called the temple of Christ or holy temple in the Lord. Can we say holy temple in the Lord? So you must first be an holy temple. You must be an holy man. An holy man. Holy temple in the Lord. Hallelujah. Such a man has been cleansed from filthiness of the flesh. But filthiness goes beyond flesh. There is, we now have, like we have two gospels, gospel of Christ and the gospel of God. We also have sins in their categories. We have sin and death in one category. We have hell and death in another category. Huh? And you now need promises to cleanse men. When you are cleansing men, you are now resurrecting them. Resurrecting them from the force of sin and death. He says, all filthiness of the flesh and then spirit. So when you are dealing with filthiness, you are perfecting holiness. I like the word, everybody say perfecting holiness. When you are perfecting holiness, it is the art of finishing the temple. Because holiness must be thrice. Holiness must be, God give me language. Eh? You must be thrice holy. Holy. Holy, holy. So there are three levels of holiness. There's an, amen. At each veil is an holiness. So the tabernacle has one, two. And the third veil is at the end. Each veil is an holiness. And you do righteousness to come to an holiness. So with each revelation of righteousness. And I know that righteousness is beyond precept. You have not started doing it without lines. Uh, you just hear precepts to empower you to do. 
So you, can, you may have had everlasting life in terms of precept. That's where you are. But in lines, you are still what? A man of righteousness. Oh, you didn't get what I said. Even though you have had everlasting life, but in your measure, you have only obeyed commandments that have given you life. So you are, uh, you are at the first veil of holiness. So that's holy. So it's righteousness unto holiness. Then you obey more righteousness. That's how they do. They measure more. You see, you need to understand the way. When you, that's why one thing I've been praying, God, help me do. Because this is, that's the way this thing works. Help me do. Because as you do, they look at you and measure more. Now, how do you know, think that the apostles knew what to tell the church at each time? The, the men, they had read. Paul was a man of read. He was measuring conversation of churches. He would say, have an head of your faith in the Lord. And your love to us says, okay, what's he ready for Christ? When they have done righteousness unto love. Now this is it. When you have not reached a love of a truth, you are not ready for the next level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every truth has its love. Yeah. What did I say, sir? So you must obey. So when you say somebody is holy, an holy man is a man of love. So you will obey righteousness to the love of that truth. That is when the apostle will now begin to think of coming to them. Having led of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. To the Colossian church, having of your faith and your love in the spirit. So they have used milk to enter into the spirit. They have used faith in the name of Jesus and enter into the love of that faith. And they enter into the spirit world. They are taking one leg in the world of the spirit. Paul says, this church is ready for spiritual wisdom and understanding. So it is only measure that will make you know that. How will you know what you need to emphasize as a pastor in a season? If you don't have the judgment to measure the assembly. Many ministers just teach what they like. Okay, this matter I'll teach prosperity. If you know what is warning those people. Now that there's an economic issue, start teaching prosperity. Jesus cannot raise the church above the level of his ministers. We need ministers of the New Testament. So, I don't know if you are following my says, so loudly. Hallelujah. Jojo Ajana Gao I'm an angel of Jesus. I am sent. A penny a galabas importing as a saint. I I am sent from the Father. I am sent from the Father. That is sent in this assembly. That is sent in this congregation. Should be established and should be confirmed in the gospel of my son. I am the gospel of everlasting life. I am sent. For the things which are being ministered, for the things which are being sent, they are from Jesus. 
by the permission of the Father, to the intent that saints should be established. That saints should be established. That saints should be established. Oh, in conversation, in conversation, I bring grace, I bring grace, I bring grace, I bring grace, I bring grace for men to be established. For this ministration is not just a sermon, it's the giving of the things from heaven, from Jesus, for men to be established. Again, no sofenieke, again, no, again, no, 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 Angel, angel of salvation, angel of salvation, come. I bring the angel of salvation. The man should be more heavenly. The man should attain the stature of the heavens. They must go up. Take them to go up. Cause them to go up. Man should attain heavens. So I bring heaven. I bring cloud. I bring cloud upon heads. The man should go up and should be established in the heavens. The man should not be plucked out of heavens, but they should be established. Establish them. See the spirit of God. Can we say amen? amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. Because of time, let's quickly rush to Ephesians 2. So like I said, remission of sin is building the temple of Christ. You build that temple by remitting sins. Now when you are remitting sins, you are dealing with certain cadre of spirits. So, um, you know, spirits. You see those spirits in the head, they are temple boys. <laughs> Satan himself is a temple builder. They are temple boys. So, amen. I said God is granting us wisdom. Yeah. Oh, you know, there's something I'm feeling like I just, I just, I'm believing God for much grace. Can we say amen? Yeah. Oh, we need to spoil things, amen. Yeah. Uh, you know, because you cannot build and plant except you pull down. It's a Jeremiah commission. So, you see, spirits in the hair, in their different categories, what they do is that they have work in us. Their work is their dominion in men. So you cannot dislodge the influence of a spirit without dealing with their work. When you deal with their work, they are losing what? Power over you. So principality, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, they are against the temple of Christ. What those category of spirits fight is for no, let Christ not be raised. They don't want to see the measure of Christ in a man. So when you are raising Christ in men, those are the spirits that you are warring. You are warring principalities, powers, rulers of what? Of darkness of the soul. So a temple of Christ is a temple against these spirits. That is what New Testament church is for. It's a war zone. Yes, sir. yes, it's a war zone. Raising men. When you are raising men, you are dislodging spirits. Your growth is your warfare. Yes, sir. When you are growing by your feet, you know, because you grow by your feet. Yes, sir. You grow by your eyes and your feet. Yes. Eh? As you see, you walk. As you walk, you grow. As you grow, spirits fall. Now, you need to be conscious of this because every day you must be growing. I want to be growing every day. Growing every day. So, then the last category of spirit, spiritual wickedness in high places, many places. Those are these places. They are places against the full measure of the temple of God. Uh, so, this is what the temple of God is against. So the temple of God is against wickedness. What is a wickedness? Is that what you daddy called perishing? It is a wicked work for a soul to perish. What does it mean for ask? What does it mean for a soul to perish? Meaning that soul is not useful to God. 
can never be useful to God. There's nothing God can do about that soul than to push that soul in where they put things that are spoiled. Where do they put the trash can of God? It's called lake. So you see these spirits, what they want to do, and that is what I perceive has been unleashed upon the earth. When, when we had that visitation in church, I was teaching Revelation 7. When I got to the point of the angel from the east bringing a seal from the east, tongues began. So I know that this meeting, east, eastern angel is with us. Oh, you didn't get what I'm talking about. Am I speaking above your head? I said we have guests from the east. We have many, many, many messengers from the east. Because there's a plague of perishing that wants to come upon the earth. They must seal the servants of God in their forehead. <laughs> Pastor Jeff, I just perceive that you should do it. Come and 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 Abraham, my arm, bring on some young girl coming. And my young young girl coming. And my young young girl coming. And my young coming. I'm really coming. A reverend, a raven, a raven, a raven, a raven. I'm young, I'm young, I'm raven. I'm young, I'm bring some tidings. We bring tidings. We bring tidings. Tidings from the east. Tidings from the east. A message from the east. Message from the east. I'm here, can I? Man, I'm a timer. A man, a pana. Even a tava. Don't believe to establish, to establish, to establish the profession. A profession, a profession to define, to define a ministry. A ministry. We bring patterns. We bring patterns. Patterns for the east. Patterns from the east. Patterns from building. For building, for building, for the matter and some matter on Vela. A man of better to establish. Megan, even the eastern sense. He might not even the eastern sense. The eastern sight. The eastern walk. Even the eastern skill. Even the eastern measure.
masonry. Eastern masonry. I'm a man of workers. I'm a man of workers. I'm a man of many, many, many workers. I'm a man of Makamasa. For you, we are walking angels. Walking angels. Sealing angels. Sealing angels. Building angels, building angels, building angels. For Nekalesh, even developers, developers of the land of God, Eastern developers of the land of God. For yeah, for yeah, for God's land must be developed with a foreign sense, with a foreign sense, with a foreign wisdom, even a foreign technology. For we bring technology, technology for building, for building, for building. Hallelujah. For building the work, for raising the work, to see the work, to side the work, even the undoing of sin and the undoing of death. For yeah, this will be after a perfection, even a certain perfection, even a foreign perfection, even an alien perfection. It's the perfection of another world, of another world, of the future age. Also, this building must be built according to this wisdom. For yeah, I raise and I put upon Upon, upon even servants yes. to join forces with them to join forces with them to pour our skill in their heart to put our eyes in their eyes to put our feet in their feet to put our hands in their hand for here yeah, there is an equipping equipping yes. equipping yes. equipping of builders of races those who will raise the temple yeah, yeah, the well. temple for the east for there is a temple that must serve eastward a temple that must gush eastward. A temple that must usher eastward. It's a ceiling, a ceiling, a ceiling. For hearken and listen. For this is the wisdom. This is the wisdom of this building. The wisdom of this ceiling. To seal, to establish the preparation. The preparation for eastern movement. We are many. We are many. We are here to stay. We are here to stay. For we will open up and open yes. up and open up and lighten up. And lighten up, and lighten up, yes. and lighten a seal upon you, yes. upon all, upon all the house. For the house must be built, the house must be one, and the house must follow even the pattern according to the sense and the wisdom of the East, of the East. See it, see it, see it, the messengers Thank of you, God. Jesus. Amen. One of the things I saw in the spirit was that they are coming to equip the ministers. I saw old garments being taken away yeah. and new installations. Yeah. Now, one of the things I perceive is that God has to seal the ministers to be a shade for the people. So many of the ministers, they will be functioning as shades. While there will be an, I just saw that there will be an after convention, there will be a heightened activity of building. Yeah. Building will enter into another sphere. Should I continue? Okay, sir. So 2 Corinthians 7. Let's quickly finish my thoughts. I want to just round up my thoughts. Um, so you can say, so fieldiness of the flesh and then fieldiness of the spirit. So fieldiness of the spirit is to, is cleansing, is cleansing hidden things that constitute a blockade to the finishing the temple. The temple will not be finished except they cleanse us from fieldiness of the spirit. And what they use are promises. Everybody say promises. promises. And this is what Paul. Now take me to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. You know, you have them in many places in scripture. Amen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, it's talking about the ministry of glory. Chapter 3. Or the ministry of salvation. Eh? We have received mercy. We faint not. But we have what? Renounce. Everybody say renounce. I said there will be renouncing. 
hidden things. Now, what makes you renowned in the things is everlasting light. Yes. Because you don't see hidden things except there's a such light. Yes. Uh, these ones are filthiness of the spirit. There was an high priest in the Old Testament called in Joshua, the son of Josedad. He had a Babylonish garment he did not know. Uh, so these are hidden things. They call it hidden things of dishonesty. David writing in Psalm 139 says, Search me, O God. <laughs> so even God has to search man. Oh, you can't, you, you don't understand what I'm talking about? God needs to search man. You need to say, Search me. Meaning there are things in man. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, what? And know my thoughts. So the light that searches, that God uses to search man, is everlasting light. The purpose of that light is to expire hidden things and administer healing. What is healing? To fix you up so that you become immune to perishing. Everlasting life is the solution to spoiling. So your temple being broken down. Eh? So he says, search me, O oh God, if there be anything in me. And then he says, uh, look at it. Try me if you know my thoughts. He says, uh, he says, and see if there be any wicked way. So hidden things of dishonesty, they are what? They are ways. Ways, hidden. Those ways are what stops the raising of temple. So Jesus has sights for ways. He's a high priest that knows how to take ways from us. Can we say amen? amen. He's a fixer of ways. Amen. Eh? And see if there be any wicked way in me. And then what? Lead me in what? Another way. Everlasting. Can we say amen? amen. Uh -huh. So the building of the temple of God is the opening of the way. Everlasting in men. And that is how they immune the soul. They want to deck us so much that we become immune to perishing. God wants temples that are complete. When you are a temple that is complete, you become a gate of heaven. And Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell. Who is the gates of hell? He is a completed temple of sin. There are also men. Now, there is a project in the last time. There are two. I'm rounding up. There is a project of to quickly ascend salvation work and finish temples. So that temples of men will become gates of heaven. Yeah. What is gates of heaven? A gate is a point of entrance where the prince can come in. Hallelujah. Yeah. Where waters can flow from the east. Yeah. But Satan also is raising temples. Those temples are also gates. Gates of hell is where they now open. Flood gates of iniquity. But I believe the Bible says when the enemy shall come like a flood. It means when enemy is coming like a flood, there are gates of hell already on the earth. But the spirit of God shall what? Lift up a standard. That lifting is building temples of men. Temples of God is the standard that Jesus will raise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Gates. 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 So one of the things I sense that the Lord will do is going to give us entrance in this meeting. Yeah. I, I, how many of you are anticipating a major entrance? Yes. I am waiting. This meeting, eh, I prayed particularly for an entrance. I believe it's a different kind of convention yeah. that should launch us into another realm of building. So this meeting uh, is set to open a gate to us. A gate to this community, a gate to the body of Christ, a gate to the nations of the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just pray. I feel I should stop here. Sir, have I tried, sir? I feel I should stop, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for the privilege.
the Lord Akata Melebos Pate Lebros Fate de Kiti at it at it at it Malabos of Rakata Tata 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 Labos Pata Labros Fata Tata 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 Labros Fata Tati Yahia who have the Hiada Le who has the Hiana Labos Fata Ladada Malehu Vasihi Gakakaya Kakakaka Malabros of Lavra ka ta 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 ta. Oh, that we will hearken. Let's pray, 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 that you will hearken to this sounding from the east. That we will hearken to this sounding from the east. That we will embrace this sounding from the east. We will embrace this technology of building. Le kate le posikate libro sefatala. Le bohuva sifihin na labuva sahuba lada ya ya ya. Lemma se kata ta 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 ta. Malabos of reketin la preketam reketete. Ling reketetetin ya madhina. Melebos ta 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 ta. Oh, that it will build in you. It will raise in you. It will raise that temple in me. It will raise that temple in us. It will raise that temple. It will raise that standard. Lesa kata ta 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 ta. Ye prekesetetetetete, lembra ketetetetetete, lembra kata ta 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 ta, legate levesetetetetetete, lembra ketetetetetete. Pray that your consciousness will awaken to this learning, this learning o kata la brakata, this learning packaged in the gospel, this learning packaged in this learnings. Lipos kata libros kafa, milibos fetetetetetetete. Oh, Mahata Tata. Oh, abundance entrance is being ministered to us. Abundance entrances into the dominion of Christ and into the dominion of our God. Milibosifata la busha talaba. Malibroke fese tata tata. Malegra katam reketada. Legre katam rekopota la busu proto. Milibosca pata la basa tata. Malabosa tata. In Jesus' mighty name. You know, let's pray that the Lord will increase our capacity. You know, God's servant was saying that he believes that there will even be more entrance. I believe tonight was an entrance. Amen? How many believe tonight was an entrance? Proof that the Lord will increase capacity. You know, that prophecy said, we have guests from the east. You know, we have people with blueprints from the east. People who have, you know, that God has given permission to see the scrolls. They have come to join forces with the men and women that God has raised here to dispense the word of God. Pray that God will increase in you the capacity to trap that life, to trap that message, to trap that learning in the name of Jesus. Maliposa katala. Oh, increase our capacity. Jesus, increase our capacity. 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 For the learnings on this mountain, for the learnings coming, for the learnings coming, for the learnings coming, for the learnings coming, for the comprehension of the mysteries. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please let's appreciate Pastor Dimeji. Let's celebrate God's servant. Thank you, sir. Thank you for blessing us. Hallelujah. How many were impacted with that session? Hallelujah. That was powerful. Thank you, sir. Thank you for bringing that word prophetically. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we're going to be going to another session. Uh, and with Jesus' joy, I would like to bring forward Reverend Benjamin, all the way from Bauchi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reverend Benjamin, you're welcome, sir. Amen. I want to thank God for this opportunity to be at the convention. And uh, not only be at the convention, but uh, to fully partake in the convention. 
it's a real privilege. And I'm not taking it for granted for the opportunity to be here and be a partaker of what God is doing uh, to his people and uh, in the whole planet. I want to appreciate our father and our mother for yielding themselves as shoulders upon which this burden will be unleashed. Uh, we needed, or well, this generation need such an apostolic shoulder that we can lean on and uh, sit from and also be covered from. And that they are that cover to us. Daddy and mommy, thank you so much. Uh, I am appreciating our father and our mother, Reverend Kayode Owegoke and Reverend Mrs. Helen Owegoke. Thank you so much. Thank you for being there for us and standing tall for us. I am here to bring a short exhortation the, just to make us pray as we round up today's meeting. I, I see today as a, another new day in the convention, having rounded up the minister's conference in the morning, I told my wife I felt as if we are doing convention two from this evening, not knowing that I'm in trouble. <laughs> the, the, I'm trusting God to steer the waters further in the few minutes that I have so that we can pray as we go. Amen. Akwewani at Abar Oli at Ailu Uz Umbent Ul Aisha Arshe, Arshe Aruhu, Ruhundu Ul Uval Ul Al Aiku, Allahu Elehon Gorgoli, Akanduli, Akamata Kalalu Ut Kuliaka, Akamata Kalali, Akamata Karaku, Amakargala Kalalu, Al Aipo Kaini, Akamata Kala, it onto Shangante Utuka, took Abanda Neke Nuna Maka Akadalu, Shimbar Gola, Akabas, Kandur Gali, Kuduli Akabaga, Erogoshana, Karagoli Eskadada, Ka Akamata Kargala Ashka Ando, Ulubunu Zangar, Galanza, Al Abadi, Alia Kabat, Domindoka, Al Aisum Bukar, Ash Ar Aban, Und Ulaziza, Ubudu Galila, Apardes, Zamanato to Il Abangor Ulitali. Kashago, Kashigo, Shukashala, Ashkabali, Asubate. Harshang, Ashkiru, Hueki. Amen. A tongue is given. A tongue. I've given you a tongue. A tongue. That, that tongue is in the spirit. Kapata, Kapata, Kapata. Say it, say it, and let it. Be heard. Amen. Amen.
Sinyasha, Abadi, Aba, Abaida, Abana, I often tell you, Krapro Catonianta, Chu Ujuvench, Al Aika Cabano, Tutu Cotoni, Al Aika Barge, Leso, Oskusana, Mantia Tabanato, Wal Aika Var Alofia Sama, Naka Makawani, Malik, 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 Malik. Mal apal ayla malik malik ak abala aliya la pargalos patani at okeka at o at okeka do 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 keka do 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 keshi do 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 at that ule abala at uliya carry him eliya kabar kaliya carry him carry him carry him carry him I send him carry him. The emissary sent to carry him. Carry him up. Carry him. Take him take him up. Take him up. Take him up. Oh, take him up. Take him up. Take him up. Take him up. Measure him up. Measure him up. Line him up. Line him up. Life him up. Minister him up yes. for the flow of ministry. Yes. Minister him up. Yes. It is not just for this purpose alone, but you ought to be ministered up. Yes. Even for the assignment that is at hand. Authorize him up. Yes. Bless him up. Yes. Help him up. Oh, yes. For he is cried for to come up. He's cried for an ascension in grace and in favor with the throne. This is prophetic. This is fulfillment of prophecy. It is an investiture. It is an investiture of grace. An authority of life. For to begin to minister from a pedestal and a pedigree in the spirit. It is for the blessing of the people of God. It is for the blessing of the people of God. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, God. Minister of God. Flow in the spirit. As the ministry of God is bearing you up for to minister even with another tongue, says the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. I want to appreciate. I I'll be very uh, brief this night. Uh, I want to appreciate our father and our mother, and uh, I want to appreciate our fathers and our senior pastors, our elders. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That if I agree, I join force, it is done. Once I agree with it, it is done. Come on. Yes, sir. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, I want to appreciate our fathers, our mothers, and our senior pastors. Uh, in this particular order, uh, you forgive me. I'll just uh, acknowledge our senior pastors and our fathers. I want to appreciate our father, Reverend and Reverend Mrs. Busui. Thank you so much, Ma and Sir. I really honor you. I want to appreciate our father and our senior pastor, Pastor Emeka and uh, Pastor Lila Egochiku. Thank you so much for being that light. Really, I really appreciate you. I want to appreciate our father, Pastor Ezron, Reverend Ezron. Thank you so much for being there. I want to appreciate our mother, Mommy Ajimate, if I'm right. Yeah, thank you very much, Ma. We really appreciate you. I want to appreciate our father and uh, one of our foremost elder brother, uh, Reverend and Mrs. Ken Benedion. Thank you so much, sir and ma. I want to appreciate our father, Reverend Benga, if I'm right. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It is such a blessing. When I see you, you just remind me of Bauchi people. You look like one of us. Honestly. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate our uh, 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 senior pastors, uh, Pastor Thompson Amodupe uh, Hima. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, my own brother all the way from Lauren, Pastor Tristan and Precious. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, Finally, on that line, I want to appreciate Pastor Dimeji. Pastor Dimeji, I'm coming back to you. <laughs> I don't have much time, but I'm coming back to you because uh, I, I will just say a word from what you share and we'll tidy up. Thank you so much. You are a missile. That's the word. You are a missile. You know, thank you so much. Can we appreciate Pastor Dimeji? Pastor Dimeji, thank you so much. You know, I'll, I'll, when I was told that uh, Pastor Dimeji will preach before I come. I, I had to run to the toilet and come back. Because I don't know what to catch. So I have to follow closely. <laughs> Amen. I want to thank God for all our mothers and our fathers seated in this front row. Mommies, I may not call all your names. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for sitting and standing strong for us. The Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for today is another day. I submit under the leadership and under the authority that exists in this platform and also in this house, in this order a summit under our parents and our pastors i put myself under as you use me this few minutes to speak to us and steer us up further in this convention i ask lord that at the end your name be glorified tonight and your people will be edified and move to the next level in the name of jesus amen i want to appreciate my wife She's fully seated. And I appreciate all the pastors. Thank you so much for being there. Amen. 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 On Sunday, you know, we had such an atmosphere of the spirit that uh, the meeting tidy up with uh, an explosion of demonstration of the spirit. And uh, it was a season of demonstration and emphasis of walk, 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 walk. So we walk, we walk, we walk on, Monday, on Sunday. And uh, Pastor Dimeji, you know, one of the high points that really tie up with this exhortation that he brought this uh, night, you know, he talked about 
as we see, so we are to walk. And as we walk, so we will be raised. And as we are being raised, so shall spirits fall. I don't know how many of us had that. Amen. 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 I'm not bringing anything new. I will ride on that strength. Amen. Amen. Uh, and just bring forth the exhortation. But before I bring that, I want to take permission from Daddy, you know, to read one of the prophecies. You know, while we were preparing for this meeting in Bauchi, you know, the uh, 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 convention uh, uh, preparatory prayers, you know, we, we will, a, a, any day, you know, convention prayer meeting is going on in EGFM. Uh, we have an Italian switch our meeting. Uh, we'll make sure we meet much earlier before 6 o'clock and close and continue with the prayer here. And, uh, and uh, we continue side by side. And uh, one of the days, I have most of the prophecies here. But daddy, if you permit me, I will read that prophecy. You know, I, I never knew I was going to read it. But uh, as I came in, the Lord just placed it in my heart to read that prophecy. But then when Pastor Dimeji now emphasizes, it took me back to Sunday, how this meeting started. Now, this prophecy was on the 4th of July. It said, I am here to make you see. For it is a season of sight. I am here to open eyes. I've been sent to open eyes. I am here to open eyes. High sight. Yea, high sight. I am here with an understanding. Hagen atmosphere. Yea, Hagen atmosphere. Even Holy Ghost meeting. An outburst. Even the manifestation of the Spirit. I am here to open up a manifestation of the Spirit, even in your midst. A flow of the Spirit, a higher measure of the Spirit, even upon the house. The last part. See the path set before you. Walk in the sight set before you. Therein your salvation lies. I will read the last three parts, the last three lines. It says, see the path set before you. Walk in the sight set before you. Therein your salvation lies. Amen. 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 This is salvation season. Uh, this is a season of measurement. This is season of raising. And one of the things the Lord is doing is to give us sight to be able to walk. Sight to be able to walk. And tonight the Lord permits me to look at uh, one man that uh, we will be able to draw some inference from, from the Gospels, who happened to be shot. Zacchaeus in Luke 19. Zacchaeus, Luke 19. Can you tell your neighbor Zacchaeus? Daddy, daddy, daddy did naming ceremony this morning. Daddy Daniels, I think I remember. Okay. Joseph and Josephine. So, so I pray that we will add maybe Zacchaeus after this message. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 19, verse 1, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief priest among the publicans. And he was rich. Amen. Amen. And he was rich. I want you to note that word and that statement, and he was rich at the last part of verse 2, and he was rich. Now, in chapter 18, verse 25, if you look at chapter 18, verse 25, this man had a very difficult situation because it is easier for a camel to go through a needless eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God.
And here we are with this man who happened to be a chief tax collector and he was rich. And he was rich. And uh, you know, uh, James 1, you know, told us to lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of wickedness overflow overflow superfluity of wickedness abundance of wickedness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save our souls this man was rich as far as riches were concerned this man was tall he wasn't a short man he was a tall man and that's why that's why that's why this man <laughs> Amen. It's in the category of those to whom it is difficult. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom. Entering the, the kingdom, salvation, glory. It's difficult, almost impossible for a rich man. But here is this man. Here is this man. Something unique about this man. And I'm trusting God that, uh, that that happened to this man. That Jesus stood and said, salvation has come into your house. He was a unique rich man. Short. Say short. short. Amen. As far as riches were concerned, this man is highly endowed. And this man was tall. And according to the previous statement of Jesus in just the verse before, uh, just a chapter before chapter 19, you know, this man is in the category that he has to do some things to chop off that height to be able to enter. Amen. Back to my text, chapter 19. He was rich. And he sought to see Jesus. Now, I wish the last three words, if they were not there, we would have read and just go. He sought to see Jesus and could not for the press. But there are some three words there. He sought to see Jesus. He sought to see Jesus who he was. Now, this guy had a particular desire. Everybody was seeing Jesus. But this man wanted to see Jesus, not just for seeing sake. He wants to see who he was. There was something this man was looking for. And I want to believe these are the things that started reducing his height and qualifying him to enter the kingdom. Now, he sought. Now, he was a Joseph. He was a devout man. Dedicated, committed. He was a rich man. He has overflow, filthiness, overflow of wickedness. Just the same way we are. Now, this man was not seeking... Seeking to be born again, like most of us, maybe some are not yet born again and they, they are hearing born again from a distance because we're everywhere, you can hear. But this man is beyond that point. What this man was looking for is to see Jesus and to see him for who he was. There was something he was expecting and that didn't happen when he saw Jesus. And it's my prayer that sight will be given in this convention. As we will see, so shall we be empowered to work. Because if you don't see, you cannot be conformed. If you don't see, you cannot change. If you, can, if you can't see, you can't make progress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, 
this man was not looking for born again. This man wanted something beyond born again. Now, I want you to see beyond the story. Uh, so keep your eschatology, uh, sorry, keep your theology aside and begin to say, no, you know, born again starts after death and resurrection. Now, uh, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, this man, this man is a picture of us who are heirs of salvation. And that was why Jesus concluded by saying, hey guy, today salvation has come to this house. And I hear EGFM and beyond to our nation and to the nations of the world. By reason of this convention, there is a particular coming of salvation. There is a particular unveiling. There is a season that is upon us. And Jesus is walking. Amen. Amen. Now I pray, one of the things we've been praying for is God will give you discernment. That you will not miss him when he's passing by. In this convention, if you have a desire to see him for who he was, if you have that desire, all you need to do is to be sensitive like this man because you want to see him. And he could not because of the press, because of the multitude. Now, I thought it's just the multitude that was stopping him. But he says it added he could not for the press because he was of Small stature. Now, I've had people condemn this man. and Somebody even quoted, uh, 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 you know, you know <laughs> somebody even quoted, uh, you know, Romans, for all have sinned and fallen short. <laughs> so that this man was short. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I promise myself I won't leave the pulpit. I'm holding the pulpit. Amen. Praise God. Daddy timed in and in at the Amen. Now, 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 we have condemned this man. Hey, yeah. This man was short. I love this shortness. Sorry. There, there is a particular scene of Jesus. That you don't need a particular height. You need a different type of height. And they know that. They know that if you have the other height, you cannot see Jesus. So they will bring you low. They will shorten your height. But then this guy, sorry, this guy, this guy, when you look at this guy, sorry, when you look at this guy, it looks as if he's disadvantaged. Everybody is told, you know, Jesus was so hard on short people, you know. I said, who by worrying can add a cubit? He didn't talk about who by worrying can reduce. How about male if you move? Amen. Hi, <laughs> short people. God bless you. <laughs> My time. <laughs> Amen. 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 some seeming advantages. They are overflow of wickedness. And in this convention, words will come. They will hew down that, those advantages. This man had money. God is not, God is not intimidated by money. Oh. And neither does heaven eject people who have money.
But this guy had passed allowing money to possess him. Allowing his riches to possess him. This guy started a journey. A journey of becoming rich towards God. He sought to see Jesus. He sought to see Jesus. He sought to see Jesus. Now, because he was of little stature, he couldn't see Jesus. And there are some people, after this convention, a season will come upon you. Some things God will delete from your life. Mommy, I believe, I believe that a graduation will take place during this convention. There will be a convocation. Some people will move to the next level so that when the next instruction is given to you, they will allow the instruction to come because you can carry it. You can take that instruction. Because, because in the realm of the spirit, they have looked at you in your heart. You are actually of little stature. I will never forget, you know, our father and mother will always give us, you know, a vision that the Lord has given them of the Lord. And, uh, and uh, it's always a small person. It's almost a short one. It's almost little three kids. It's almost short ones, short ones. The, 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 the Almighty is their short beings. Short beings. Short beings. But then, you have to be reduced in all the wickedness inside you. You have to be reduced and torn and be converted to that child like that small stature. But while they are reducing that, they are measuring another stature up in you that is called salvation because that is the download of the substances of God. Now, this man has to be reduced. The next verse, the next verse, verse 4, verse 4. And he ran, he ran, he ran and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see Jesus. He had to climb. Let me tell you, you don't need any ladder that is not given by God. God is going to raise Because for you to see Jesus, you need a raising. You need a raising. But why they are raising you? There are some things inside you that they will have to make you Zacchaeus. Sorry. Amen. They have to Zacchaeus it. Now, Zacchaeus, you can add it to the dictionary. They will Zacchaeus you. So that they can raise you. Because the Zacchaeus where you are cannot make it into the kingdom. So they have to reduce you so that they can raise you. For them to be able to raise you, they have to reduce you first. Then they will allow you to climb up. There is a climbing we will experience in this mountain. You will never remain the same. You will never remain the same. They are raising temples that will deal with other temples. There were desolations of many generations. But you, they are raising. They are raising you so that you will bring down that contrary temple. Hallelujah. 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 Now, the last part of that verse 3 caught my attention. Sorry, I'm not doing like Pastor Dimeji, so you just bear with me. Amen. The last, the last part, okay, of that verse 4. For what happened? He ran, verse 4, he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. Why? For what? For what? We want to thank God in this commission that God has blessed us with apostle of the way. The way that Jesus will pass. It seemed to me, I stand to be corrected, it seemed to me we may not have much problem knowing that way. Because we are hooked up 
to the apostle of the way. Because he doesn't, listen to me, he doesn't just pass any way. There is a particular way that he passes. And you need the apostle, follow who no way. If you want to arrive, and you want to arrive safely, you have to get the apostle of the way. And we are so blessed. This convention, you will not miss out the way. It will be painted in different ways. But listen to me. Just be sure that we will not miss it. Because we are following RKO. Pastor Emeka, Pastor Emeka said something, you know, recently that I, 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 I told him about it over and over, you know, that he said some people who don't know much wanted to castigate us for lifting man so much. But uh, one thing they fail to realize is anytime God we want to reach out to a people, the word have to become a man. If the word, if the eternal word have to become a man for this particular way, there is somebody who knows the way. And we will not miss that way. This season, somebody, as you leave the convention ground, as you follow the leading of the spirit, things that you have been struggling to look for, they will look for you. Because, because you will, you are following the person that know that way. And Jesus is passing through that way. My prayer is in this convention, that way will be made more open and clearer for us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Verse 5. So beautiful. Verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. Now, I, I, I was actually uh, uh, carried aback. I thought... This short man is on a tree. And you know when short men climb tree, they have to use their legs to hold the trunk of the tree, the branch. So you can hardly see him on a sycamore tree. But Jesus was passing. When he came to the tree, he stood and he looked up. When he came to that particular place, when Jesus got to that particular place, he looked up. It was a response to a hunger in the heart of a man. Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, sorry, maybe I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Amen. Zacchaeus has so much generated hunger that when Jesus is passing, Jesus has to come and say, hold one, two. At that point in your life, Jesus will halt there. Yeah. There's a particular hunger God is generating in us that will make him halt. When Jesus comes to that place, Jesus will now look up. Habba, the whole Jesus. Now, in the previous verse, uh, can we go to verse 4? Let me show, let me, let me, let me highlight something on verse 4. The first, the first line of verse 4, it says, And he ran before. If you see Dangote running, you know that it's a serious business. Anything that will make Dangote to run, you better run. It's a serious business. Because Dangote is running. So you better run. He ran. And then you are seeing a rich man climbing a tree. You follow him and climb. Amen. 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 Now, what I just illustrated is actually a vision God gave me. He said, as we obey, follow this word of righteousness. 
there are some people because we are following it, they will follow us. They will come. They will come. They will come. Now, there's a greater harvest awaiting for us. So, so you better tighten your seatbelt. Because as we run, it's actually a prophetic demonstration I made here. You know, because they will see notable men here running. And they're climbing tree. Some people follow animals during the tsunami. Animals were climbing hills. They follow animals. And that was how they got saved. Because the animals were able to pick the seismic signal. And they started running to the hills and the mountains. And some people in their bikinis started saying, Mubi animal, Mubi Jackie, Mubi Doki, Mubi Doki, Mubi Doki. They follow Jackie. But you are greater than animals. And you will run because Jesus is passing that way. And you will run. And others will follow. Verse 5, let me round up. Amen. And when Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw him. He looked up and saw him. You know, I, I, I come to this understanding that in the divine program, heaven knew that Zacchaeus was going to be at that place. Now, but there is every possibility. If you go and listen to daddy's teaching this morning, there's every possibility you may miss that leading that you're supposed to run and climb a tree at a particular time. But when heaven comes, they will stop. They will look. But I pray they see you. I pray they see you. Some people are supposed to be in this convention and they are not here. Thank God you're here. There are times that heaven will come to a location and they know that there is an allocation for a people. But they will come to that location. They will halt and they will look up. But they will not see you. And they will be like, next. That will not be our case. Not just convention, no, because convention is seven days, but we have a lifetime to run. Convention is to fan the flame, and we are, go, we are to go and build on it. Now, every minute, every second after Sunday, you are supposed to be at the right location so that when they get there and hold, they will see you. May they see you in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I will round up now. Yes, my, my time is... Okay. All right. Amen. Amen. Hey. 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 Amen. Amen. 
I'll preach that last part. Amen. I'll preach it. Amen. Amen. Verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste. Make haste. On the line, make haste. I may not have much time. Make haste and come down. For today, I must abide at thy house. If you are in these waters, you know that this one is not talking about a journey of somebody who got born again yesterday. Because the man understands certain language. He said, make haste. Make haste. And come down. For today, I must abide at thy house. And he made haste. Now, this guy followed instruction. And he made haste. The Lord is going to do a quick walk. And he will cut it in righteousness. He came down and received him joyfully. The next verse. The next verse. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be, that he was going to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus, verse 8, stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Now, if you read the story very well, you discover that he came to the house, but they didn't tell us details of what happened. Now, they didn't tell us details of conversations, eating of food, drinking juice, eating chicken, but they just told us, Zacchaeus stood, and in my mind, I saw him standing on a dining. He stood. And the Lord was still using toothpick. Catch mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, in my mind, in my mind, the Lord did not do too much talking because he was eating. You can't be eating and talking at the same time. So he stood because there was still, to me, to my mind, to my understanding, he was still on the table and he was trying to say, more juice. <laughs> and then Zacchaeus stood. He said, Ina the Magana. Dala. Come on, minty there. He raised his hand. He said, See, by seeing you, seeing you is not just seeing you. Seeing you means some transactions have taken place in me. Now, some people are building restitution doctrine here, not knowing that it wasn't the Lord that commanded him to do it. But this is a personal conviction that he knows that if I am to enter kingdom, some of this thing must go because I'm not only physically short, I have to be short spiritually so that I can enter. And some of these goods are hindrance. He said, I have to clear the warehouse. I have to be reduced in every way. I know in my heart I'm short. We can go. We can journey. But Oga, storehouse. In fact, before the politicians will break into the storehouse, you know, I, I, I better restore. It was a walk by encounter with him that night. Me believes, I stand to be corrected, uh, me believes Jesus didn't preach too much message that, that night or that afternoon or that evening. To me, me believes, he just said, if you see Jesus... Seeing Jesus is not sandal and shirt and long sleeve. Seeing Jesus is an interaction. Seeing Jesus is a receiving and a taking. Seeing Jesus. Now, in my village, in my village, they used to have this festival in the days of my grandfather. My grandfather was an idol worshiper before he introduced my parents to Islam, you know, and then before my parents moved from Islam, you know, in the 40s, you know, you know, uh, you know. Uh, I, I had this story that 
during the harvest, they have this festival. They will come. They will be singing. They will be singing. They will be singing. In the night, they will be singing. Then suddenly, somebody will break out and say, Nagenshi, I've seen him. And they'll say, who did you see? He said, you have seen the legs of God. <laughs> and that is the climax. That is the climax of the festival. If they're able to see, then they know that that feet, Pastor Dimeji, that feet, they know that if they can see that feet, that they can walk, that they are okay for the next one year. <laughs> you know, if they can see my prayer in this convention, even if it is the nail, let us see the nail of Jesus. We may not see the full Lego, even if it is the nail. If you see the nail of Jesus, not nail as in nail, but who he was. Substances. He never remained the same. The man said, from today, I will restore all this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 9 and 10, as we pray. Verse 9 and 10. And Jesus said unto him, this day, salvation this day is salvation. Come to this house. For so much as he is also a son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. I want to tidy up with this one word. This convention is a this day. And this convention is an is. This convention is an is, is salvation. Come to this house. If you came with little measure, please, this night, if there is one prayer that is in my heart is, Lord, enlarge my capacity. This night we pray for capacity because the convention is starting in a different way. Enlarge my capacity because salvation in the next, the next phase, the next allocation, I stand to be corrected, but I feel, I sense in my spirit that it's not just, it's not just for EGFM because we have had confirmation over and over, but it's for the whole body. <laughs> that a new dimension of salvation and salvation message, salvation, I call it salvation redefined. <laughs> salvation redefined. It will become the normal it will become the norm because this is the expectation in the mind of Jesus. That is why the whole of this story ended up by saying, this day is salvation come. And we pray that God, may we have that capacity to receive the allocation for this season of salvation. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Let's pray. Let's talk to Jesus. Let's talk to our Father. To birth and hunger in us. This is the work of an evangelist. Let's pray. I want you to touch God. In San Aheto Rone Arakatune Kila Katuna Kahatun Ele Ita It was the Bashofe Rokasta Ah Shout Hallelujah In Jesus name I want to say something please I want to say something while I was praying, we were praying with some of our brethren, some of my brethren. After prayers for the convention, uh, often I'm led by God to say, it's not enough. Go pray. So I took permission. I said, let's go and pray. I took some of them, so we began praying. But I didn't tell them. We, are at, we were having encounters almost at a junction of prayer. But there was this 
commandment, God kept reaching out either to me on my inside. And this is, are you hungry enough for me? Do you really want me to come carry it? He said, I've not seen the hunger. Uh, I just want to say something so that something can be born tonight. Amen. Something can be born. Are you really hungry? Or do you want to come to this convention and go as usual? I said the Lord, he said, no. I've not seen the hunger in you that will pull me. And I thank God, I didn't, this message didn't come towards the end of the meeting. It came right on time. Shout hallelujah. God help us to hear this message tonight. The purpose of this message is to find hunger. Is it the hunger in Zacchaeus? Shout hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I just want to add up to it and ask God for mercy to make us hungry. That hunger is looking for. It looking for has to be intense. It has to be intense. That is, search yourselves. What are you looking for? Amen. You know somebody can be, you can just be satisfied with knowing, being around this water. You can be satisfied with knowing some stuff. And I can be satisfied as a minister with preaching this message. I can be sad. I can stop at any junction. But I just had mercy. The Lord said, mm -mm. your hunger is not yet. I, I wasn't telling all of them, but we kept praying. We kept praying. We kept praying. We kept praying. In fact, all the prayer points, we can tell all of them, all the prayer points we are praying is, something is worrying me inside. Let's pray. We prayed. To, they, then after some time, one of the last prayer, it was in Ibadan. In the middle of the night, after we finished ministering at Ajitomovi's church, Reverend Ajitomovi, instead of us sleeping, hallelujah, Pastor Dimeji came to me, he started talking to me, oh God will do. I, was, I didn't want to drive him away because I also I wanted to hear him. And then he lived around to, around to 12. He was hungry. So I said, we have to pray. Body weak. The first thing is, I told them again, I said, that thing has not finished. It's still Hallelujah. Then, I think it was TJ who started leading prayer. He said, it is high time. Let us pray this thing that is worrying this man. Let us pray it out. What is it? Hallelujah. They kept leading all manner of prayer. I just stood up and broke the thing and said, listen to me. Everybody shout hallelujah. You know the way how your behaves. Praise God. And said, this hunger that is worrying daddy. Am I communicating on this problem that is in daddy's heart? It has to be solved. Then talk by brought another that if it is anything, incompleteness, inconsistency, if there is any mistake, let God reveal it to him now. <laughs> so we have to still tarry. The Lord is saying, I am not hungry enough. I don't know. Maybe all of you are already there. It's possible some people, some of us, you have reached the hand. I may be feeling so. But if you are not among those who are hungry and you want to be more hungry, you are going to pray this prayer with me. Some, what will bring Jesus at this level, at this magnitude, must be a kind of soul that Pastor Tyre fasts and shed light on the heart of Mary Magdalene. We must be we must be intense. On God that will stop the jurisdiction of heaven from carrying out the removing of Jesus, ascension of Jesus to heaven. I am praying. Are you well? Are you hungry enough for one man, for one being? Are you hungry enough for one being? Are you hungry enough? Are you hungry enough? Are you hungry enough? I don't know what you are looking for. Are you hungry enough to see Jesus? I want to see Jesus. Lord, I want to see you. I am, I am crying for Maranatha. 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 I call Maranatha. 
I call Maranatha. I am crying. I am crying. I am crying. I am crying. I am calling. I have nothing but Jesus. Not my needs. Jesus, I hallow you. I sanctify you in my heart. It is you I'm hungry. It is you I'm looking for. Jesus. 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 Hunger. Hunger. I'm hungry. I work on my hunger. Hey, hey, oh. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I am hungry. Wake my hunger. Heal my thirst. Give me hunger. Jesus, I want to know you more. Help me. I want to see you. We call you by my hunger. Let my hunger pull you. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Amen. Hallelujah. And don't hope we will not forget this. Shout hallelujah. The way Pastor Benji preached this message was awesome. That Zacchaeus is like Zacchaeus saw Jesus more than the, the, the apostles. This thing was not installed in scripture for, for nothing else. It was a purposeful, it was intentional. That's our Lord Jesus movement. Jesus is a man of the way. Jesus is a being of the way. I said Jesus is a being of the way. He will pass our way. Not our way, but his way. Jesus has a way. I said we will not miss him. I said you will not miss him. Can you beg for mercy? Position me. Take me up to sycamore tree. Position me, hold on. Help me up. Take me up. Raise 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 me up. Take me up. Take me. Cause me to climb. Look cause me to wait. Reduce my stature. Give me height. Thank you. Jesus, help me. Don't let my hunger be shut down for you. Look at so. Look at so. Erito. Aha. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Check yourself. Do you have enough hunger till Saturday? Check the kind of hunger right now. As that hunger, as your hunger turn, as your hunger change quality, as your hunger change from any other thing, what are you hungry for? We can easily be deceived to just relax with any kind of state. Hallelujah. Jesus is the best. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the person. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. Ah, ha, ah, hunger. I am hungry. I am hungry for Jesus. Oh, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? Can we say amen? I pray this hunger will follow you. This hunger will, will be your, the force of the momentum of your life until Jesus appears to you fully. We have a great expectation in this convention. We will never come short of it. You know, it's not, it's not easy to meet this expectation. It's not easy to meet it, to meet it. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, we must see Jesus. We must see Jesus. You must begin to look for Jesus. Look at him. Seek for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Because of time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen. I, I'm because of time. A, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Uh, 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 hallelujah. Can we thank Jesus for using Pastor Benji? Can we thank Jesus, please? Can you thank? Is Jesus who used him? Jesus takes the glory. Nobody is anything here. Unlike, you know, I'm not lying to you. Nobody is anything. Amen. As men, we are all the same. It's only Jesus that matters. Everybody is nothing except for Jesus. So see Jesus. How many of you say, I will see Jesus? I will look for Jesus. And that's what this convention platform is meant for. The opportunity, the grace, the... Are you getting me? The advantage of coming to see Jesus. I say you will not go back without Jesus. Oh my God. You, you will smell Jesus. When he was preaching, when he got to that place and Jesus stood, I saw the Lord in my heart. I said, I want this man. In my say, I said, this being isn't ordinary. Hallelujah. I want this man. I want him more than anything else. I remember I had cried to him. I wanted knowledge from 83. He gave me knowledge so much. My hunger for knowledge, not just Jesus, just knowledge. Just to know Jesus, just to know him was terrific. The hunger was a boiling magma. I won't lie to you. Until knowledge opened. But I now say, Lord, and I now say, you are not hungry for me again. Like you used to be hungry for me. Hallelujah. I kept, I kept fixing my heart. He said, listen, listen, this next level, this next level, this next level, need another kind of hunger. This next level of me can't come to you when you are not hungry for me. And at times, heart can easily be deceived. You may be, you may think you are serving God, but you are looking for something else. I say, oh, may God help us from other search, other desire. Heal my heart. I want to see Jesus. I want to look for him. Is it clear? Shout hallelujah. As you are eating, don't forget Jesus. Remember him. As you are sleeping, remember him in your sleep. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will help us. Can you hear me? Can you appreciate for me, Pastor Demeji? Pastor Demeji, thank you for the teaching of everlasting life. Thank you. Pastor God will bless you. He will increase you. Ah, hallelujah. How many of you will love Jesus and thank him for talking to us through them? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We will prophesy tomorrow. We shout hallelujah. Thank you. I know prophecy spirit is, is fiery. Hallelujah. We will all prophesy tomorrow. Don't worry. I'm not shutting you down. Shout hallelujah. If we are not, if the fire is too much, prophesy to yourself. Uh, when you prophesy to yourself, then you can transfer it tomorrow. Thank you and we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for being a part and parcel of this meeting. Amen. Praise God. Are you here? Hallelujah. Can you give your offering quickly? Amen. Jesus, we thank you. say, I'm just being told by Pastor Moses that there will be revelo from 5 to 6 that they want people to follow because of the emphasis. Okay? Hallelujah. They want you to follow. Amen. If you have your phone in the camp, they say want you to follow. We trust them by tomorrow morning we are going to close early so you can rest. Then resuscitate by 5. You can now key to unto revelo. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. Are we giving the offering? Hallelujah. When you see Jesus, you won't have problem with giving offering. 
When you see Jesus, you will not have you tight in the Bible. When you see Jesus, he, you'll be easily, you, you can be instructed easily and treated easily. I just want to be to, I just want to see Jesus. Nothing matters to Zacchaeus anymore. Nothing. So he, then Jesus, Jesus was too beautiful. Jesus was too beautiful. Do you know he never, he did not go to Zacchaeus and he was teaching him doctrine. He just sat down. Zacchaeus was reading measure. He was reading him. So Jesus was a message. Jesus was the message of everlasting life. He could be read. That in no God, Zacchaeus converted. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? Ask yourself, tell your brother, what, do you, what are you looking for in Jesus? Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can we raise up our hand and thank God for one 30 second? Aha, thank Jesus. Thank the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Share the grace and fellowship, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. Be with us now. And forever. By the time we are leaving this conversion, to each and every one of us, Jesus will be too real to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Tomorrow we will come back in the morning. Hallelujah.